Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. I've got a gnoll going here. I'm trying to get the great mug, which requires me to win this gnoll mug here. Oh, the random spear. That's not, not random spear. Random whip. That's not that good. I'm going to use a spear because I start with a lot of skill in it. But uh, hoping for a trident or something. Oh, ring of fire potential is not bad. There's another ring right here as well. Oh, look at the sword. The massive sword here, triple sword. Um, how much skill does that require? Twenty-two. Hmm. How much skill will a doll get? Man, I want to use that triple sword, but I'm not sure I can. Also, these guys are doing lots of damage to me. I think I'm good though. They didn't have a choke point to hide it at least. I also haven't decided exactly what god I would go with. Um, hmm. We didn't know we were going to get Mana Spawn Sword going now, because that's what you usually use with a triple sword. I'm not sure I could. That's fine, though. Would have much preferred a demon trident with this character. Oh, lots of little jackals again. Thankfully, I've taken level now, so they don't pose too much of a threat. Uh... What do I want? Do I just want strength? I've got a decent amount of decks. I guess I'm a monk, but I think I'm gonna get strength. Cause that helps with my little pole I'm gonna go here. Um, ooh, acrobat. Positive energy? I should put these both on. I mean, if I need to run away or something, actually, acrobat can also be good at running towards them. Wait. Why don't lose a magic point when fighting that enemy? Oh, maybe my. Spellcasting went up and I gained a magic point? I don't know. I just saw my magic point go down by one. It looks to look like it, uh, judging by my max magic points. Uh, double this level, right? I think I can just go down. Ooh, get some boomerangs. I should get some skill with those. Let's see, I've got 0. 0.7 skill with those, I think. It will get there eventually. That's the thing about gnolls. You don't really have to worry about their skills. They just kind of do their own thing. What is this? Magic regen? I don't think I've got any spells, do I? No spells in my library. No, I don't think so. Well, lots of skills to reach one. Is that my magic ones? Are they higher altitude? No, they're lower ones. So it's more my melee ones that just reach one, like my throwing and stuff. Oh, a little rat just hiding on the other side of the door. Sure, why not? You know, fighting bats with a pull up is kind of nice because they can't. Get out of your range so easily. Uh, resist corrosion. What's better? Resist negative or resist corrosion? Or maybe just a strength. I honestly. With my strength lacking. Uh, nine damage. I mean, my damage is lacking, but at least I'm accurate with the light. Oh, hey, Sigmund. Oh, he's got an invisible, but it'll be visible as soon as he gets into range. Um, I want to level up before I find him. I'm gonna take the staircase. I'm so close to leveling up. 90, what, 7% of the way? If I kill that, I don't think I should be able to level up. What was a template quad roll? I might grab that one. So is this plate worth it? Get 5 over class, lose 6 of age, and that doesn't seem that worth it. Yeah, let's go get hip. I should instantly get an ancestor as well, which will be nice. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, and I can instantly turn them into like a knight? Sure, why not? Let's knight them. Jafog, the ancestor. Well, let's uh, let's go rename them to Sir Jafog. That sounds like a plan to me. Sir Jafog, my knight. Uh, what are they? Neither. All right. Leave them. Whatever they were. So I should check out the scale build. They're usually the um, ring mail I'm wearing is pretty good at starter armor. 1 AC, but I lose 1.3 evasion. That is basically the same as what I've got. Oh, got some gels gravat. Now oh, I'm in a better place to take on Sigmund here. Oh. What's my... Oh, my answers are confused. Um. That's about as bad as this could go. Uh... Smack me with better, but I don't have any curing. 
Um, right. I guess I just stab again. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Let's give my answers a chance to cool off. There we go. I might want to use the side of Venom. Let's go take a look at that. It's two handed, so I lose my all the light. 20 damage, 1.1 1 .1 attack delay. I'm doing, oh, 0.7 attack delay already? But it's like double damage. Um, I think because of the poison that ends up worth it, losing my orb of light. Yeah, let's give it a try. Usually I wouldn't use a two handed ball up, but I mean, it's got poison on it. <laughs> Not too bad. I don't really think I'm even skilled with. Well, I guess an orb of light doesn't need any skill, does it? This crazy youth with extra mushrooms? It is too. Uh, I think I can kill him. There we go. Take his cloak. Go take his food as well. Oh, maybe. Nope, it's not giving me any food today. I was a hungry knoll to eat without getting crazy youth's food. Uh... Oh, there's more guys. Uh, Anthony's is not quite staying at the front. They're almost doing the trick. Ooh, they kind of wounded. These guys are moving fast. So I better just kill them. Though my answers are... Do they regen? I know they regen fast one a turn. I guess they don't have a lot of health. Only 20. So it looks like they're regening it back pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, it's only, what, 20 turns for them to get the entire lot of health back? I'm pretty sure I take a bit longer than that to heal up. I gain 0.72 health a turn, and I have over double the health. Yeah, I'd be pretty slow to heal. Um, hey, Ajeev. I want to polymorph. I might back up a bit. Uh, I'm peg. It doesn't matter. Because I am already upstairs. <laughs> oh, more gnolls, of course. Um, what, how many are left down here? Two? That's probably fine. All right. Still Jeeve again. Um, I'm hoping I can have my answers out the front, but this is not looking that promising. Ugh. Not quite. Oh, well, I guess I'm back upstairs again. Hey, this corridor could be good, although that dispersal trap could make it hard to not that I manage to pull a Jeeve in any way. I think it could be a good spot to, like, fight a Jeep because then I can at least hide behind my ancestor. Uh... I guess I walk forwards. I don't know. I don't think that girl was going to come to me because I guess I could have tried to recall my ancestor, but it's not always the most effective. Oh, hey, there's a Jeep. Nice, now it's my one to polymorph uh, 13 charges. Not always the most useful one, but it could be good. Also, I got blinking. Can I use it? 32% failure, and there's also less of beckoning. Which is maybe not the most useful with a pull up, but sure. I'll take it, I guess. Is that another Heavily Aquata altar? I mean, I guess it was just meant to be Heavily Aquata this time around. Yeah, there's a, there's a second Heavily Aquata altar there. We don't offer a Pererit. Have I seen any other gods? No, just two heavily acquired altars. All right then. Oh, dungeon level three. Done. That's really early, actually. Maybe there'll be a heavily acquired altar on every level. They have one on dungeon level three as well. We'll see. Hmm, these phantoms don't work the best with an ancestor generally, although that doesn't work too badly. Uh, also, I might grab that trident. It could be. Is that any good? 13 damage point 9 attack delay. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Eventually I'll get shield skill and be able to use a shield stuff. Oh, is that a ring of poison resist? They got a oh, I've got the resist corrosion one as well. Um I think I'd prefer the poison resist to the fire resist right now, because I feel like that's more likely to get me into trouble. And I can swap in the fire resist one as needed, I think. That was a right blade, Curse of Agony. I wonder if I could get a Curse of Agony. What level is that? Five? 
Maybe. Because they do melee stuff, and it's kind of a melee spell, I think. It's the one that lets you, like, do some torment on some people that you hit in melee, I think. I remember correctly. Oh, hey, there's an alternate that's not happening. Come on, it's uh, a Levelin. Feel agile, is that? I mean, maybe helpful. <laughs> Might be able to do something for me. There's plate armor here, there's gloves here. Let me just look at this. Is this a spell the same protective? It's slightly more protective than what I got. Positive energy, which is fine. Other words, this is probably not the most useful one, but it's always good to have a point of positive energy. A little cool up there if I wanted to add to my army. Also, this bear's like about to fall down a hole or something. <laughs> With all these escape hatches, not escape hatches, all these, uh, what are these called? Shards around. Ooh, rigs. Uh, what have we got? Got anything good for me? Ooh, a flash of resist, electric resist, corrosion amulet. I don't have a shield to go with that one yet, but the reflection, even the five shield it gives is terrible. Uh, resist, corrosion, resist, electric. I mean, those are both resists I need, I guess. Probably more useful later on, but still, I think buying that's not a bad idea. Although, also, I probably can't afford it until later on anyway. Probably not until I've done the Orkish Mines, honestly. Alright, more spells. We've got Airstrike, Swiftness, Shock. Did I get a Swiftness? I was like 40% failure, sure, why not? It'll probably be a long time before I get that one going, though, right? Oh, my answer's just almost killed the Ogre on its own. Barely even needed my help. In fact, it probably could have done it on its own, honestly. Uh, I'll bring these guys back here. That's a good spot, because I think my answers I should say next to me. Ooh, Ice Beast figured out a way around. Uh, I'm going to kill the priest, though. I mean, Mod Spells are Radiate. I don't think I can get that going just yet. But a Radiate's not bad as a no. Yeah, it's like 99% failure. Uh, Rope of Minus Fire Resist. I don't think that works. Check out this orb, though. Guile. Oh, what's up with these ones? The Spousal? They're gonna disperse my. Yeah, they are gonna disperse my ancestor. At least I can recall my ancestor, right? <laughs> oh, well, that. No, they managed to hit me through my ancestor. I might go grab some of these dance and spells, so why not? That's a. That's like 16 dance and spells, it's probably the most I've ever seen. I don't know, I think I've had that vault before, so maybe I've had that many dance as well. So what was that? Sky Beast, okay. Uh, get more strand again. My strand is kind of buffed right now, it's not actually that high, so I should definitely just keep on that, that one going. I can now heal and protect my ancestor, can I? Yeah, I guess so. 26% failure. I think invocations are decent units, uh, plus nine. So generally, that's the skill you end up with the highest of if you're a template. Uh, no, I mean. Uh, try to hide behind my shield of my little guy here. Oh, there's the actual temple. Oh, there's another hip altar. No, there's very little in here. There's a shining one, Uradel, Nalzin. Ushkeo, Dismedos, and Rue. This is Dis, right? Yeah, okay. That's a very sparse temple. I mean, not that it matters. I've already got a god. Uh, that tried nothing good? Nah. It is worth checking, though. Because it is a polar, but I'm theoretically a bit better with those than I am with other things. Oh, hey, Ash and Zari. Nabalex, Kiku. I've done a Kiku run in ages. I feel like apparently I've won them more than I have Zin, though. Just strange. I don't know how that happened. They were probably some of the challenge runs I did required them or something, because I don't think I played them for any other reason. 
Uh, that's plausible spear freezing. Hmm. I see. Oh wait, this guy's got a magic trident. Plus four trident. It's not branded or anything. Let me just go grab it. I might have to consider whether that one's worth using or not. Where's the staircase? I know it's back this way. I don't know exactly where it is. That's down this way, isn't it? So I'm not sure those knolls are following me anymore, honestly. Yeah, I'll try to bring them back to the staircase. Also, do I have an identify here? I've got seven of these. That's identify. Good. I'll start with some potions. So I've got mutation. Heroes is excellent. I'll oh, degen. Uh, see some scrolls. Fear's good. Blinking's excellent. Ah, oh, so another one. Evolution and amnesia. I have a couple of spells, but I probably don't need to amnesia them up just yet. Um... I don't actually really need to drop items yet. I'll just get rid of the degeneration and call it a day, I think. Oh, also, I was going to compare the trident with my current weapon. 18 damage, 0.8 attack delay. So its damage minus the poison is pretty similar. Maybe slightly better. Hmm. Gotta give it a try. See how well it does. And there's also a random broad axe there. I don't think broad axe is the best null weapon because they need a decent amount of skill compared with some of the other weapons. Because uh, it's not like a demon version of one or anything. Oh, who was that? Morris with a polymorph. Huh. It's a good thing I've got the glowing orb right now though because he does go invisible. Right, now I can add to my polymorph collection. I haven't really been using it but I'm going to Big collection of polymorph. Who is it that I like to polymorph? I know there's someone. I think Sonya, because she has the distortion weapons often. Um, I want a scarf of harm? Not really. I think I'm better off with just a plus zero cloak, honestly. But I, mean, I could stab back and stab people with a harm, but then it also doesn't help with like things like Santos and stuff when you're trying to run up to them. I'm um, like usually able to stay behind my asses. I don't know. It doesn't seem that worth it though. Let's it came with some other artifact properties or something. What I want here just identify a scroll, I guess. Revelation? Oh, yeah. Hey, K Man, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, magic point robe. I don't need that one. Great monk incoming. That's the plan. Yeah, I think this character's got a decent chance of surviving, but they could die. But still. I reckon I'm going to manage to create a monk, even if it takes more than multiple attempts. No monks sound reasonably good, like, honestly. They don't sound like a, the worst combo I've ever seen. Okay, get back here, ancestor. Oh, they didn't do a very good job of getting back here. What is that? Try to Venom. Um, I do want that. But, I gotta take, I gotta split these guys up. Did I just lose my ancestor? No, it's still there. Alright, uh, probably not that- Oh, maybe- Oh, probably not that staircase, right? Oh, you do like monk on characters with a uh, high invocation aptitude? Yeah, because then you can just, like, start with a Kai Piety ride and just... <laughs> do god stuff, basically. Uh... Okay, bring this dude upstairs. I got the poison resist on right now, which hopefully will help. Um, why put it on a buckler? I'm better off with all the light, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, whoops, maybe should have gone down there. Uh, actually, let's swap the staircase again. Let's not make the same mistake twice of going down a crowded staircase. Oh, you haven't done Oddy Mug, but you're uh, sure it's great. Yeah, I did. I think I did one of those yesterday, and I went with like the shining one and ended up manifold assaulting with a giant spike club. And also got the fire starter, which is excellent for manifold assaulting. No, that was fun. Oh, hey, Sif Mana. 
Um, yeah, I really enjoy the... I mean, I guess if you're going Giants by Club, the orb line doesn't matter as much, but I really enjoy, like, uh, Onis with their Giants by Clubs. It feels really nice. Well, I guess that's not really actually mug specific <laughs> now that I think about it. It was just the extra piety to start me off with the Shining one that was useful. Well, my ancestor up the front. They should be immune to the poison, so that's really helpful. What is my throw gone? Five already? 5.6? I mean, that's not too bad. That's probably how this character's gonna deal with Hydra, just throw random stuff at them till they die. Wait, helmet. I need one of those, right? I don't think there's anything that stops me wearing a helmet. In fact, I said no I get a full set of stuff right. Oh, I'm just missing boots. Oh, it's not the ground here. It's just a vampiric long sword. I don't think that's going to be that competitive. Actually, what is the difference between my pull ups? It's 8.7 compared with 5.6. So it is still ahead of the other skills, but they're beginning to close it a little bit. Uh, they're not quite as wildly different as they used to be. It's not like at the start where you start with like 60 or primary skill and then zero of the other ones. Oh, you think a demon spawn monk is great? Wait, did I misread that? Did I just. I think I just missed that message, actually. Huh. Don't know how long it's been since I've done a Demon Spawn Mug, because I can't remember what I did as a Demon Spawn Mug, but I must have done one. Let's see if the bot can remind me of that run. Uh, Demon Spawn is DS, isn't it? Oh, the Demon Spawn Mug of Uridelum, doll. Escape of the Orphan 3 runes of 2022? I honestly have no recollection of that game. <laughs> but I'm sure it was fine. Actually, it took like five and a half hours for a three year game. So it was a reasonably slow game. Although back in back then that might not, not be too bad for me. I don't know. Bring this did I get acid resist? No, I didn't. I was going to buy a ring for that. Well an amulet for that, but I'm a hundred gold shot. My guy's still corroded. Let's wait that one out. Uh, let's bring these back to a corridor. What's up with this guy? Wand of Warping. That's kind of dangerous. Uh, because that could mess up my placement. And I guess, oh, it will just warps itself. But it can also mess up the place of my answers, so it can mess up everyone with a wand of warping. Whose skeleton was that? That wasn't my skeleton, was it? Because I know there are other ones like your skeleton. A human skeleton. A decaying skeleton, okay. It's a random human. It got imprisoned in glass, I guess. Oh, being a... Uh... Displace is one of the worst things to deal with this game. It certainly is. No, because it uh, can just absolutely stuff you. Uh, let me just... Oh, resist corrosion. Oh, I probably could have swapped out the uh, the other one, the uh, resist poison, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it almost ruined one of your runs. The other one you got lucky and dealt with it easily. Oh, uh, you've been tallied next to the orb of Zot twice? Yeah, I mean, sometimes that actually works out, though. Like, if it's close enough that you can just grab the orb and teleport out of there. But yeah, often that can be kind of... I've almost died to that before, I think. But no, sometimes it can actually work to your benefit. Actually, did I want to drop all of those? Get the plus four trident. Just in case. Uh, that's not gonna work that well. Let's bring my guy back here. Alright, this is working pretty well. <laughs> I'm level 11, so I'm always ready to go to the lab. What am I on? Dungeon level 10. Actually, my party's almost maxed out with Hepler Aquana here. That's kind of crazy. I mean, I know Monk's done all, but still. You know, Monkstar could maybe be really good on um, Okawaru, because then you could actually maybe hit your... What's this first, wasn't it? Uh... Maybe actually hit those five pips of piety that you need. 
to your six person party, you need to get your gifts. Oh, hey, Cyclops. Be a Vokumaru, they're right there. Is that all my gods? It's gotta be, right? Yeah, all the regular gods, obviously, like, there's still, um, g and stuff to go. Alright, uh, I'll do one more level of dungeon, and then I'm going to lay. I've got all the resistance stuff I need for lair, though, I think. Like, that guy's trying to curse my, not curse, poison my ancestor. Good luck with that, they're kind of a spirit. Oh, lignification, sure, I've got reflection. Can I afford the actual good reflection? Not yet. What am I wearing? Just an acrobat. Mm, I might drop that regen, uh, magic regen one. I guess I think I'll keep to the acrobat until I get the better reflection. Oh, I lost my curari. Yeah, well. Like reach is reasonably tough for the point of the game that I'm at, but I think it'll die. Because there's only, well, I was going to say there's only one of them, but of course there's only one of them. They always come in groups. Alright, like can I identify... What have I got? Two of these, I guess? Two attraction? No, that's a shame. I don't know why I bother carrying a attraction, because I mean, in theory, it's possibly useful. You can pull in, like, rage creatures and that sort of thing, but... I don't know, it's not like I'm actually gonna ever use it. Oh, I gotta walk up, this kinda hurts. Can I just idealize my ancestor? There we go, they're gonna stay alive for a bit. This vault looks kinda nasty, though. Uh... Maybe? Oh, there's a centaur. Wait, where did my ancestor go? Ah, they're dead. Okay, that's not good. Because I'm out of the Curari. They can't poison this guy, which does help. That's maybe gonna do... Oh, no, that's not doing the trick. Gonna drink heal wounds. Still think I just keep it stabbing it, though. Yeah, because the poison's taken out quickly, but... It was also taking me out quickly. Uh, I guess that kind of gives me a check of how tough this character is without their ancestor. Not that tough. Uh, I still don't have a resist electric, but it's so oh, I might need less. There we go. Keep my ancestor alive there. Oh my goodness. Gotta pre buff my ancestor. One of those has noticed me, right? Oh, I'm actually gonna have to buff them again. There's no way I want them dying though on me. Oh, come on. I think I'm gonna kill the archer here. Uh oh. No, my head's. Oh, did I fail? No, they glowed. Oh, the Sando had them with Holy Wrath. Hey, if it's an OP for a three room game, they certainly can be. Um. I realized quickly that without your answers, your characters are quite strong. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I got a teleport here. This is mildly crazy looking. Okay. Oh, the type of poison. The only thing I can think of because they do have a venom weapon. Um. Okay, I've got a fire resist on. I think. Wait, do I? No, I don't. I have a fire resist right here that I can put on. Okay. Well, I kind of met my first uh, tough part of the game here. Uh, there's a manual in there. I should take those off while I pick up. Hold on, give me a second. Because I don't want to mess up my title. Just, um... Uh, where are manuals? Yeah, I want to review each manual carefully. Make sure it's not going to mess up my title. Ooh. Probably gonna die from the poison. I think it just did.
Oh, you always have cool titles? That's the plan. Um, we'll see what's available, though, this time around. So, we've got... Because Knowles are sometimes a little bit hard to get titles. Oh, Ring of Willpower with magic points on it. It's a little bit of minus strength, which is a shame. How's my willpower? Uh, not quite there. Also, oh, minus till I put J-Mail. Manual of Throwing. I don't think I've had the Null Throwing title, right? Uh... Oh, whoops, I forgot the S equals title thing. That's not going to help. <laughs> I haven't won a lot of Nulls, apparently. Only eight of them. Let's see. I've had the shield one. Yeah, I mean, I can totally grab this. I should. And see if I can get myself the, um... Mark Snow? Oh, is that a plus 10 giant spike club? Man, where's that? Where's my Oni when I need one? <laughs> Just a random plus 10 giant spike club on the ground. That's funny, though, because my last character was Oni. That's way too much stuff. <laughs> I see that net. Uh, I think I can just run back. The one slight downside with the answers is that they don't have a good uh, dodging, so the nets can uh, just go straight through them sometimes. Oh, I am marked. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one dude upstairs. And yeah, the main marks aren't gonna matter. Everyone was on me already. Let's go down a different staircase. Uh, I do want the throwing net. That's something I'm actually gonna be good at, so. In fact, if I go extended with this character, I might be able to get. What's it called? Nolish Barricade? Uh, not Barricade? Um, what's the throwing one? I can't even remember. Ballister is it? It might be Ballister. Also, oh, that didn't work. I don't think I got anything to throw here. Ow. It's dungeon level 11. I guess these things are reasonable creatures for dungeon level 11. Okay, now I can go to the lair. I feel like, oh, oh, no, those are bees. How do I get rid of this guy? I think you're going to have to use a wand of quicksilver, something that will zap through. There we go, get rid of the bog art. And now I can go to the lair. How's that throw going? 7.7? 7? How much is that going to speed it up? I mean, at the moment, it hasn't made much of a difference because I've only just got it. I think it should speed it up enough for me to get a good title out of it. Uh... Oh, hey, more yaks, sure. Oh, you just learned that 27 pull ups is porcupines. Yeah, yeah, because I got that one recently on just like a random character that didn't really need it, right? It's just like, oh, might as well get those uh, the Oni characters. Like, might as well just get a porcupine title because I can. Although, if you're, if you get on a, is it an Arbitor? You get like a diff, no, not an Arbitor. Is it an Arbitor? Might be an Arbitor. You get a special one, like a Pangolin or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. Let me just retreat up because I think I've lost my ancestor. I don't know, there they are. I think they just came back to life. There's little debris piles that are kind of funny. What do they actually do? Oh, they're resistant to fire and cold, immune to poison. No evasion. I mean, I guess this is just a pile of debris. It's not exactly going to dodge out of the way. I mean, I guess they're in a way they're kind of like a plod because they also do the whole uh, crumbling after you damage them, right? Just like the plods do. Uh, I might actually head up here.
All right, lab one was not too bad. It was certainly easier than doing that dungeon level 11 because it didn't have the nasty bolts on it full of absolutely terrifying creatures. But the good, on the plus side, dungeon level 11 did give me a lot of experience. Also, can I buy an outlet? I can. Let's do it. Um, I don't know how many electric things are going to come across, but oh well, we'll give it a try. I've got, hopefully I'll find some... I'm going to let who I think. Hopefully I'll find some a shield to go with that. Add up my shield value. I don't really need the old reflected amulet. Now they've got the cool one. Oh, buff my ancestor thing. This is... A lot of frogs. Um, is what I was thinking. Okay. I might actually buff my ancestor again. Just so they deal with these frogs a bit better. Because so I'm yeah, down to like half health. Just down to half health actually. Uh, that's a lot of dudes. I might just... Oh, I've got some zoked. I might just go back anyway. Uh, this is fine. Just don't go down that same staircase again, because it's got a bunch of black members around it. Uh, okay, get the answers up the front. Can my answers, uh... Oh, wait, the paralysis spreads now, so I think technically I could get petrified if my ancestor did. I think they can be petrified. I'm just trying to remember. I'm actually not entirely sure if they can. Oh, snake pits, is it? I'm bringing some of these nagas back. That would explain all the uh, black members, though. <sighs> Might keep them backing up, although... It's a little bit hard to back up with all those belink frogs jumping around. Oops. Ah, I had a perfect way to get behind my answer, so I just had to wait for them to move forwards, but nope, I accidentally moved up a bit. Um, Alright, what have we got in the way of spells? We got Yars? Yars could be okay. Oh, the um, Radiate's 38% failure. How's the Yars? It's probably the same, right? The Curse of Agni, oh, also 38% failure, because they're all the same level. Uh, let's help another shore. Sublimation of Blood? Nah, not really. Spousal, maybe eventually. That's a long way off, though, I think, with that one. No, oh, lots of snakes. I think the snake pits should be too bad. I got the resist poison. What else do I need for the snake pits? A little bit of resist fire. I mean, I've got a ring for that. Yeah, I kind of got what I need. All right. Layer two, not too bad. Let's try layer three. And I'll get to find out what my second branch is. Right? Because I don't think I saw both of them. No, just one so far. I don't know which one I'm most hoping for. I don't know, maybe some shoals. Ooh. Wait, let me just get to a choke point here. Sort of working. I'm already slowly losing health. Okay, that seems fine. Anti-magic trident? I mean, it's less well enchanted than what I've currently got, so it's not good as a general weapon. But if I find someone that casts some really nasty spells, then maybe. What sort of uniques are there in the lair? I mean, this Harold and stuff. I don't know. Oh. Okay, that's the shoals. God, if I have Wind Drake, am I just... Oh, wait. It's very boomerang to use this. I'll throw it at the other guy. <sighs> Push me back again. Okay. Might just buff my head, sister. Um... Can I throw sort of if I miss the guy? There we go. I get the other one. That's probably a good way to throw. Oh, I'm on 30 health. Oh, I gotta drink a healing potion. That's a shame. 
Oh, yeah, just that air strike me again, I think. Um, oh, thank goodness it's dead. Well, goodbye. Um, one more of my potions of healing, but I still got one more at least. And I think I got a positive energy I can drop because I got so many of those. All right, two more levels to go here in the lair. Let's try this one. Emulation? I... Hmm. Maybe. Like, it's one of those things where I can swap into fire resist and they go and emulate some guys. As this is gonna die, that's probably fine because I can just kill the black mamba. Not quite, actually. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Also, I should have moved up to that guy. I already had it with a pole arm range. It was kind of pointless. Oh, it's a trident of... Hey, that's a better trident of anti-magic. I mean, I'll drop the plus four trident as well. I don't think I'm ever going to use that one, as it turns out. Alright, well, this Jiva. Any, I guess I haven't seen a Legato in Ignis Holder, but the chance of seeing an Ignis Holder is tiny. Like, you'd have to... I mean, I've had it happen before. I've just had a temple with it, but I don't think you just... Do you just find it randomly in the dungeon ever? I think it might be possible. I know Jiva you can. Although, I feel like there's a lot more chances to see Jiva altars, not, even, not counting the ones in the... Um, Lair either. Like, there's just a lot more chances to find those than there are Ignis ones. It's hard to, like, even query if, like, people are finding random altars to Jiva, uh, not Jiva, Ignis in the dungeon because you can often get Ignis from faded altars. Oh, speaking of which, it might be really hard for me to get that Ignis title now. Um, because uh, one of the Ignis titles basically requires you to start as a monk and then to get Ignis of a faded altar and then never to use your Ignis... Oh, abilities. Okay. And the Zua Jelly. Um, can I paralyze that? Or... Oh, where's my wanted paralysis? No. I see. How fast is that? I might have to be teleporting out of here. We'll see. Because there's a teleport trap right behind me. It's 120% speed. Not the worst thing ever. Do I have a vulnerability? I do not. Do you have an emulation? I think that might be the way to go. But then when my ancestor dies, it's going to blow up. Actually, this is not going too badly. There we go. And unlike some of the other gods that mind about you blowing up your friends, um, Hapley Uncle Quan is perfectly chill with that. Oh, one more level to go here. Lair. I still haven't seen the Hydras. I wonder if this level will have some Hydras for me. Not that I want to fight Hydras. It's just interesting to not see any because they're a very classic Lair creature. Oh, so it's a water ending, isn't it? Huh. This is the one where it's really hard to find a staircase down, because for some reason, all the staircases seem to have creatures on them, although this is actually reasonably far. It might not be a water ending, but it looks like it probably is. Because sometimes you just get a lake that's separate from your ending, but no, that looks like water ending. Quite a big spider, but I think it's fine. Yeah, it dies to the poison. I think those are vulnerable to poison, even. Uh, did I even find out my... Oh, right. Shoals and spider nests on my lair branches. Uh, oh, it's not quite right. I'm going to try recall... Uh, there we go. Recall my ancestors to a good spot, because the shark can't go berserk by biting my ancestors, because they don't have any blood. But it can go berserk by biting me. So I didn't want to be out the front. Which one of these staircases is good? One of them is still Claire, right? Not that one. 
Um, that's what I think. Yeah, that was still Claire. Well, close enough to Claire, I guess. Huh. Uh, classic uh, developments. I try and bring them upstairs. There we go. Doesn't always work though, but it seems to work reasonably well sometimes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Failing to take them up the staircase, but there's only two of them. I so. Oh. Maybe that's not fine. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, I might just transfer and sell one with my ancestor. Because I kind of a bit low on health to be. Messing around with that one right now. Am I also excluded off that love trap so I don't accidentally set it off? It was reasonably easy to like uh, get an enemy in it or something, end up with it getting set off. Um. Can I just do a dart of dispersal on this guy next to me? There we go. That gives me plenty of time to fight the shark. Do I need to throw some more darts of dispersal? I just focus on this guy. I think these can hit reasonably hard. It can hit for 35 damage. Um, probably reached through my ancestor, but I think it's alright. There we go. And they go really fast in the water, although also a bit back from the water, thankfully. Oh, hey, elephants. Buff with the ancestor. Otherwise, I'm maybe in trouble here. Hmm, I might just do a transference. Hopefully my answers I could keep these guys back for a little while. I think this is going okay. Oh, they lost their buff. I might buff them up again. It's causing a bit of piety here, but I think that's fine. I haven't really gained any piety doing the lair. It's honestly stayed about the same. But I feel like it came in here with five pips, and I'm down to four now, I think. So, yeah, definitely not gaining piety at all Um, this one. Uh, what have we got? We've got a spell for Shervator. Oh, we oh, got Captain's Colors. Wait, I, I've technically got the skill for that, right? Let's see. Point four technically. Uh, 17 damage, 18 damage, or whatever it is. Oh, was that even. Is that even. Hmm. Worth it? Because I, I like my pull up with my answers, but it's not that bad. Not Venom, it's uh, speed, though, so it attacks really fast. That's not where I want to be. Ugh. I think I've got a choice apart from being just surrounded by those guys. Alright, well, uh, I've actually got to go for a little bit. Not very long. I'll hopefully be back pretty soon. Um, yeah, so uh, be back in a few minutes.
Right, I'm back. What am I doing? Finishing off the lab, I looked at things. Uh, getting some more money, but I'd already bought the um, amulet, so I should look at the other armor, see how this compares. Slightly more protective, actually. Um, got a few spells I tried on. Ah, uh, yeah, my spells aren't really cast for that, but uh, I don't know. I think it's probably worthwhile. Right, I'll drop the anti-magic trend. I mean, it's uh, nothing too special. Ooh, Death Yak. I'll pull it all the way back to the staircase, because when there's one Death Yak, there's usually a second or even a third Death Yak around. Yep. Oh. Uh, no, they both arrived at the, same, at the staircase at the same time. I've got to try that again. There we go, that's better. Get one death yak at a time with the way down. That one looks good. Where's my death yak? So it's on the other side of this water. That's a little bit inconvenient, but I could probably... I don't know, bring them around the edge of the water or something without having to go into the water. Uh, oh, three identifiers. That's a lot. Okay, so we've got securing, which is excellent. Um, and light a bit also good because I had no willpower. I got another potion here. Invisibility. Um, that doesn't work so well with my orb. But I uh, don't need a ring of fire, I don't think. Hopefully, in some time in the not too distant future, I'll be able to get a shield. Oh, whoops. That's. I guess that's just. I just gotta have to fight this guy, right? And then I can transfer into this one. Get my health back upstairs, I think. Hey, there we go. There's a Hydra after all for this character. Not going to be a Hydraless game. Can I stab with a trident? Uh, I think so, right? No, it doesn't seem to give it heads. I'm pretty sure tridents are a stabby weapon, not a slashy weapon. So they work just fine against Hydras. Oh, another identify. Uh, I'll do a scroll. Shadaba. I don't have a lot. I've got a cloak. I've got a helmet. I could do one of those. I mean, nothing really stands out as something I'd want to do. Maybe my... Helmet? Hmm. Anyway, where do I want to go? Orchish Mines? Do I even know about that? Apparently I do. I kind of hoping that the orcs will have a shield for me that I can go stack with this amulet of reflection I've got. And teach these kobolds a lesson to not shoot me with weapons. Um. What is this thing anyway? It's a mystic cage. Oh, so if the weapon can reach past it, so I guess my current weapon could potentially stab past it if I needed to. Not that it's in a spot where you could really easily stab past it, because it's kind of on the side of an area. I'm going to see what the scroll is. Oh, noise. Yeah, I might drop it. I mean, sometimes I've used the noise before to sort of try to track things, mainly in, like, uh, Zot lungs and stuff. The top five lungs. Let's just go back and... I mean, I'm not missing a lot of health, but I'll actually just try and bring this guy back to a staircase, I think. Oh, that guy will do. I'm actually trying to bring the other one back. You have to be a bit careful with those orc, like... Uh, what was that, a high priest or something with their summons? They can get out of control, depending on what they decide to summon. Uh, that's also not great, because my ancestor just died. Right, I see. I think I back up a bit, although this guy can get some attacks on me. Ooh. Any more attacks than I'd like. Uh, I think I back up a bit more, though.
Actually, this is not killing it very effectively. But then I think after I kill that one, I can just dispel this one. Or not. <laughs> um... It was like 80% to hit, but uh, two misses is fine, I guess. And now we can get back to the snake case and get everything back. Oh, hey, Gastrock. I'm out in the open. I want to be somewhere where I'm not out in the open, which... Ooh, where's that? I mean... Up here's okay. It's like three open spaces around me. What's he got on his head? Plus two hat. I mean, that's technically more protective than my helmet because I haven't enchanted my helmet. Let's see. Got an 18 armor class, got 19 armor class. Yeah, I mean, sure. I'll take an extra armor class. Jamie didn't have a willpower hat or something because he sometimes has some really good hats on him. Uh, ah, some venom. Venom is the thing I've got resistance to, though. I've got the whole poison resist going. Um, Go to back up. This is not a bad spot. If my ancestor got itself killed, um, I might back up some more. <laughs> Try to get a little bit of health. In fact, I might even go all the way back to the staircase, get my ancestor back as well. Could transference, but I don't need to. Good. And where's the way down? In fact, is that all the ways down? Yeah, so my level's not split up. Well, it could still be split up. There could be, like, escape hatches. Because sometimes escape hatches are your only ways on. Uh, but do you have flaming? Hmm. The high tier pull up, two had to flow. Probably also requires too much skill. Uh, because I think, yeah, how much is Bardish? I mean, I guess I can look at it once I kill the guy or something. Oh. That looked like I'm doing so well. It looked like I tried recalling my ancestors to move them around so I could actually bring the enemy close to me, but it didn't quite do the trick. Alright, this is the perfect spot. So let's take a look at the Bardish. It needs 24 skill. There's no way I'm getting that. What about 12 skill? No, that's uh, well, almost 12 skill. 11.8 or something. Is my throwing my my throwing is my highest kind of a thrower right now? I think I very often had the thrower title. In fact, I'm not sure if I had that one before or not. I certainly have one with it because it's a low enough skill one that I probably wouldn't have. But I don't usually like start focused with throwing. Oh, actually, how much skill is that? 12 skill? I have won games with that little skill before, although I don't think I would just throw a title. They tend to be quite difficult, though, but I think I've done... Well, maybe not quite that low, but the same, like, uh... tier of lowness. Because I think I get all the way up to maybe 14 or something before I change titles. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't set off the alarm trap. Honestly, it was like right there, but I guess they went around it. Oh, that's a big orc. She just got a plus zero longsword, though. Oh, wait, it's kind of harmless as well. Else it does. I'm definitely going to have to take a different staircase. I'm glad this gave me multiple ways down, though. Instead of just forcing me to go down, say, one with this guy or something. 
Uh, probably gonna have to retreat back. We'll buff my ancestor. Oh, I'll still die. That actually looks not too bad because I got it down to this one guy. There we go. Well, that game it had some sort of axe, heavy axe, and this guy just had the longsword, thankfully. Well, I guess it also had the armless, but it was uh, switching to longsword and melee. This must be my shopping district. I kind of vaguely recognize this one with the lava. Oh, 40% on the paralysis. Um, I mean, kind of got my answers to block in the moment, but. Willpower might be better than some poison resistant here. I'm going to be honest. With those, those guys sitting around with like 40% of their paralysis, I don't think it's a good idea to. Not have the willpower. What is that? A blade talisman of the devil with fire resist or electric resist? Doesn't quite work for me. It's a blade talisman. Is that a resist cold ring? Might eventually work. Uh, hmm. Why buff my guy it says paralyzed? Yeah, it does. Oh, ow. Nah, that's not good. Uh, I think I actually teleported out of here. Ooh. I actually need to resist negative right now if I'm going to survive this. There we go. Hmm. I think I put the strength back on, but I might be switching back to that resist negative. So once in a situation where you do need it, a good... <coughs> Or tough, unique. Damaging you with negative. Uh. Oh, what, what did my answers get a lax? Broad eggs and flaming. That must be a recent addition, right? They had like a little mace for ages. Another guy that can zap me with bolts and stuff. Um, pull some of these guys back to the staircase. I think that's the work here. So at least pulling the ogre mage back and I can... Wait, where's my answer? God. I can deal with that one good. Uh... All right, one more tough guy down. And, oh, there's Nigel. Let me go quickly put on that resist uh, negative instead of strength or willpower. Is that a willpower thing? Because I've got rid of the guys where I need the willpower now. Oh, apart from maybe that guy. But I guess my answer's up the front, so if I just buff my answer, so I shouldn't need the willpower there. I don't know I'm wearing it, wearing I don't need the positive energy anymore. I might put the willpower back on. There's a lot of rig swapping, but it's alright. Mm, I wanna go for the non summoned guy. Oh, summoning the a lot of those. Um I heard this instead of willpower, I think. Not quite ideal. Good, they're disappearing. I might just close that door for a little while, try to heal up. Oh, what's the obsidian bat doing? It's just... constantly running away. I'm not doing a lot of damage to it. Spewing out more things. What have I got? I've got a warp egg. Did some damage to it. Uh, I hit it with some more warping. There we go. I think I finally destroyed it. I 
We just head back to the staircase. I'm a bit wounded to be messing around and not running away or something. Um, what am I wearing right now? Fire resist? Okay. Let's put the willpower back on. Although, to be fair, fire resist isn't terrible with all these guys. Because their main uh, damage source, I think, is a bolt of fire. Um, I've got more curing. I don't need those right now. But actually, I should remember about my enlightenment. Although, I was just using a ring for the willpower that seems to be doing the trick. Alright, there's one more shop. Maybe I'm a demon trident and it's got a great mace? A rude helmet, a rude quarter soft, a crystal morning star. I don't I mean I guess we could use the morning star. I don't know, it doesn't seem that good. Oh, I should buy the haste. I should buy Do I buy the brilliant to get it identified? I should buy the healing potions. I don't think I do. Uh sure, I guess I get a lignification. Oh sure, I get I'll get the brilliance. We'll get it identified at least. And I might be done with here, although there's slightly more potions here. Even more brilliance. Uh oh, just get everything. Although I might leave the curing. I don't think I need that right now. I've got Yeah, got five curing. I should be fine with that. Let's just go down the dungeon, because that's all there is left to do, really, until I go to my lab branches, but I don't think I'm quite ready for those yet. Let's take the rings. I've got the willpower one on. I... Yeah, I might stay with that one, although putting on the poison for this one is also an option. Or even a fire this one with some of the guys around here. Oh, hey, look at that, enchant armor. Um, I still don't know what to enchant, but it will be eventually good. <laughs> and a mimic, okay, sure. That's got to be my bolt entrance, right? I saw a, like, full-on banishment dude there. Just take the chance. Oh, 19%. Okay, when I next meet that guy, I got to drink a potion of enlightenment because I don't want to be banished. Uh, I need to drink it right now because my guy's on the front. Oh, there we go. It's dead. <laughs> but as soon as that became like, I came like my ancestors got banished or something. Need to do something. Wait, is this guy going to throw net? It's got to be the other guy with the throwing net. No, it's this guy with the throwing net. There was this guy got also a throwing net. Huh. I see. What's the chance of getting this guy with, like, a paralysis? 30%. I think I might give it a try. There we go. Because otherwise it was kind of being stuck in the middle of two guys with throwing nets. Um, I can't get a throwing net as well. Someone's been handing out throwing nets to all the enemies. Oh, I guess that's okay. There should be the vaults in here, right? No, it's just a quasi altar. No one was expecting to see. I'm like, actually, dungeon level 12 is too early for the vaults, isn't it? That's dungeon level 13 or 14. Oh, hey, Auric, with an evening star draining. An evening star might be alright. Oh, I idealized my ancestor. Let's make sure this goes well. Let's check out the evening star. So, it does 28 damage point 9 attack delay. Because I'm not quite there with the uh, skill. Whereas this one is 19 damage point 6. Wait, point 6 attack delay. That's pretty quick. Then it's rounded. Um, the other one's probably rounded as well. 28 damage compared with 19 damage though. It doesn't do reach. It does do draining. Interesting. I mean, it's competitive. I might give it a try. But unfortunately, I might have to be swapping between the two weapons. We'll see. 
Depending whether it's me out the front or my ancestor out the front. Whoa. Let's just have a little bit of fire just instead of some willpower. And then I can probably just throw at this guy until it dies. Um. Maybe. I can maybe not hit this guy. It doesn't seem to be doing so well. Alright, and now I can put on the resist corrosion. Uh, go back to a default. Do I default to the willpower? I might default to the poison resist because the willpower one's got some minus strength on it. I mean, it's not that big a deal. It's like I can kind of default to any of them. As long as I remember which one it is that I defaulted to. Also, I made a bunch of humans. Did any of those have shields? Nah, it's just a little buckler. Because I got, what, 10.5 skill shields now? Which is enough to use a kite shield, no problems. Uh, not sure it's worth a, a charging up this weapon or not. I don't know, it's a decent base type weapon, but I'd rather have pull up, but... it could still be worth it. Yeah, it's the pull up would just be so much better with the ancestor, because then I could be behind them like it was before, but... Hey. Ooh, hey, a Rolcha. Uh, but I just alighted myself. Huh? Just so I don't get banished there, but that doesn't seem too bad. I kind of just took around a couple of bashes of the Evening Star. And that guy even gets me his trap there, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, no, it's, a, it's not a snake. It's a, another thing. It's, um, um Fire Elemental. I'll solve this less protective because three strengths allows you to blink. It would also allow me to cast a bit better. Oh, I like to look at that cloak. What's the ghost do? The other creatures aren't looking too bad, so it's just a matter of how bad this ghost is. Oh, I saw them over there. They're Kukio's... No, Kukio Bezies. Bezies ghost? Coglin Mug. Hey, they're a fellow mug. They do 20... 7 damage plus 13 flame. Uh, they got more max health than me. They got 118 and I got 109. They got good AC. Uh, I'll definitely do the rest of the level before I even think about that. Okay, well, the rest of the level's done. How do I even get to a staircase? I guess there's the one down there. I think I popped this. And then, of course, I gotta make sure I split the creatures up because fighting those all at once would not work. Uh, that'll do. Who? Wait, how do they. Oh, don't random energy up to me, Sean. Just get transfers away. Fine. Well, not that one. I want a real staircase. I'm gonna just try and like avoid them, I think. Just maybe set them on that level or something. Uh... Oh, what was that guy got? Chainmail. Minus cold resist. No thanks. I think I don't even have any cold resist to start with, so minus cold resist would be pretty bad. All right, well, the cloak was a plus two cloak of cold resist, resist corrosion, three and two decks. I mean, that seems worthwhile. Also, why does I swap out a resist corrosion ring? I've got resist corrosion already. I got it from my amulet. Um, which means I could probably drop that resist corrosion ring. That's not exactly the most useful. But hey, this is cold resist, a little bit of dags, a little bit of intelligence. I mean, it's pretty good. I don't really need another strength, do I? Excellent. So let's just go down and hopefully that ghost won't be a problem on the way back up. Storm Dragon Scales. I haven't seen any of that, have I? 
usually you get that like either depths or I don't know for base huge or something. There's a number of sources. You don't always get it though. Ooh. I mean, Josephine's gonna be fine. <laughs> she didn't even have a. I guess her army of race was behind her, but they didn't manage to keep up with her. Uh, not down the staircase again. Which staircases are free? Wait. This one any good? Let's see. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, I just gave him standing back and throwing. <laughs> I'm doing a pretty decent job at it. I think my throwing is my highest skill. What is it on? 13. Yes, I'm definitely good at it. I think I found my invocations. Oh, invocations not even 12 yet. Huh. Right, so let's draw. Oh, I guess I dropped the captain's, captain's colors. It just could have been a fun weapon. Uh, I'm gonna back up to the staircase. Try and lesser backing this guy. There we go. That does the trick. Let's me pull it up. And now we can finally check out the ring that's been sitting here. It's oh, two more power to evade and see invisible. That doesn't look too bad. Um,. Might as well have the poison resist, but I'm gonna have to put that poison resist back on at some stage. But it does, it's definitely a better willpower ring than the last one I have. Also, I was thinking here. Yeah, I mean, that was got magic points, my old thing, uh, old willpower one, but I'll still get rid of it. Uh, can I identify? I'll do a scroll. Something. Oh, something's good. Oh, another, another banishment pass of 3%, though, because they got the willpower on. Oh, idealize. Um, what is that weapon that she's got? She's got a plus six trident of holy wrath. Hey, if I ever find that ghost again. I got a plus six trident of holy wrath. Um, I can drop. Oh, I might drop the venom trident. It almost makes me tempted to go back to, like, pole arms or something, but it's not a demon trident, so I don't think it'll quite convince me. It's Death Knight, I should bring it back to the staircase, which is all the way up this way somewhere. Somewhere? Uh... Good, I see the way in. Guess I'll go down the same old staircase. Yeah, seems fine. And a Death Knight is not actually a dead, is it? It's like a humanoid or something. This class is natural? Yeah, I think that means it's like a, like a living thing. Good, it is in fact dead, and the extra willpower is helpful because it stops it tormenting you with its uh, little torment ability, whatever it's called. Anyway, one more level of dodge, and then I got to decide on a brunch to go to. That's a lot of creatures. Uh, why just stand back and throw some stuff? I'm not doing too bad. I should just be able to retreat back. Just double check the card paralyze me 1%, so technically it could. Except it's unlikely to. Uh... Oh. I guess I just have my guy to retreat. 
Oh, it's a little bit awkward because I spent like one of my tons there when I could be fighting, telling it to attack again. Um, I suppose that's all right. Don't want a ring of ice. I mean, I've actually got to come over to this now. I think I might just leave that. Could still be good in an ice cave, though, is what I was thinking. But oh well, it's probably not needed. Um, I'm probably better off with my other rings anyway. Although maybe not an ice cave. An ice cave is always good to have some extra cold resist. All oh, right. Could throw a javelin. Hello. This is honestly doing alright. I don't think I need to throw any javelins just yet. Oh. Wait, hold on. I'm burning to death. Uh oh. Um. I think I actually need a healing potion. I should have probably been moving there to put out that fire. I didn't realize quite how much damage that was doing to me. Man. Uh, 2% banishment, sure. And they'd have to get through my guy to actually do anything as well. Alright, well that's the depths, but that's uh, not going to be the next place to go. The next thing to do is probably put on a Oh, I need poison and fire resist. That's not going to quite work out. I guess poison resist is probably more important against the majority of the things. And then I can go to the snake pits with that. That's not the snake pits. Don't know where that was. This is the snake pits. That's a lot of poison despite my poison resist. Let me just cure that one up. Oh. Uh... Slow is kind of nasty. I actually read one of these fears. I do want to bring like one of these guys back with me. Oh, maybe not. That stack is stuffed. Um. Do I have, like, a flight or something? Let's see what I've got. No, I don't. But I might just go to the trolls instead. A wave of frost? Was there something else? There was... No. It was just telling me about a rune. Huh? Next. Just some more of these guys. Not that many of them followed me. Alright, what's next? I've still got no regen though, so... Not perfect in terms of doing the temporary locations. Ow. Oh, not a wind drake. How much damage can that do with an airstrike? 2d30 something, quite a lot. Oh, I think I could add the healing potion. Ow, it's dead. It was blowing me away from so much uh, force. They just couldn't get up to it. It's got their whole repel missiles thing. There's a quick crackly of a very distant mounting archway. I mean, you can try and revelations it, but... Oh, it's a long way away. Yeah, even knowing where that is, it could be a little bit hard to get to, but we'll see. I'm hoping that someone in here will have a demon trident for me, though. That would be nice. Oh, marked. Um, that's actually really bad. They can't just, like, self quick over anymore, so I can't do that. That would be overly suicidal. That would be suicidal. That would be perfect. Uh, pop a poison scroll, but this isn't very good. Marked and barbed, I see. Buff the ancestor. 
and swap them in with the shark. Oh, that didn't really help, did it? Still marked, unfortunately. I don't have a lot of teleport left either, unfortunately, either. Um, so I definitely can't teleport until this mic wears off, really. Otherwise, I'm just getting myself into the same old situation. Here's a freezing race coming along. What else have we got? Okay. I was thinking I'm good at throwing because I can just stand back with a um boomerang to do some damage with those. 50 something health, sure. Still at an okay point. 40 something health, hmm. I think it's still okay. Oh, that's not 20 health. I can add a drinking potion. I already raised me back up to 40 health, though. I'm no longer marked, but I am still barbed. 30 health. Still a curing. Okay, I'm still barbed. There we go. Barbs are gone. I think I'm going to miss out on that uh, dodge way, though. Loud crack. They've got to have my health back, though. There's no way I can just run up to that one on low health. Oh, it's gone, is it? Yeah, it's gone. That's a shame, but I just wasn't going to make it to that one. I mean, I might as well explore the entrance, but there's probably nothing here. Try going, but nope, can't go down there. Uh, can I identify... Do another potion, because those are the biggest stacks resistance. I think my resists aren't too bad, this character. I've got no fire resist, so I suppose it's something. Oh no, I dropped down the shaft. Um. Tempted to actually magic mount the south. You know what, I think I might try to do a revelation to get to one of the staircases. So they're, oh, actually they're really close to me. I was just going the wrong way. This probably is a good thing I did some revelations. Oh, what do I need to pick up that scroll? I can drop... Keep the flame in here, that's probably useful. I had something useless. Uh, Amnesia's not useful right now. Yeah, I can come back for that one, but I need to forget a spell or whatever. Alright. Cause fear, is that usable? It's fourth level, it should be, right? Oh, 30, um, 38% failure, right, I see, because I got play mail on now. I'll still grab it, but it's just not quite there in play mail. Um, what about a rig mail of fire resist? How protected would that be? Hold on, let me go look at that rig mail of fire resist. It's... I'm losing... Uh, kind of losing one defense. Because I'm losing a little bit of armor class. Actually, it's not even quite one. It's more like 0.8. Uh, it's probably not worth it. But it does get fire resist, so if I was somewhere that needed some fire resist, it might be worth it, because I'd probably be able to cast my spells again with that one as well. Oh, hey, a weapon shop selling me Hold of Protection, a Longsword plus 7 of Draining Cold Resist, and a Dire Flail. No, no, those are good. Don't compete with my Morning Star that I'm using. I don't know if this place is going to gain me boomerangs or lose me boomerangs because I'm using a lot of boomerangs to attack guys in here, but also this is a good supply of boomerangs with uh, the creatures you fight. Yeah, what is this scroll? Vulnerability. All right. Oh, I'll definitely boomerang this guy. Yeah, I mean, now there's more fear on me, I don't really have another option either, because I can't get any closer. Actually, I should just melee this guy. Save the boomerangs when that's just a weak creature. 
I really wish I had something to chart. Uh, what do I have? I've charted my cloak, right? But that's pretty much the... Well, it started pre enchant That's the only thing I've got enchanted. I could just wait for, like, Gold Dragon armor and go full on heavy armor. I was planning on medium armor, but often my medium armor characters end up in Gold Dragon armor. Now, what have we got here? I mean, maybe this armor shop. Oh, Gold Dragon armor. Well... It's also plus eight storm dragon armor, which I think lets me get into a trove. Um, ice dragon scales are the armored one. They get minus six slag. Isn't worth it. Those storm dragon scales are actually seriously tempting. They've got minus five to the spots. So they got plus six slag. Um, I can't actually afford them though. I might go grab. I might just do the gold dragon armor thing. <laughs> sure. Oh, where is it? It would give, well, three more of a class, but lose four evasion. I mean, sure, whatever. I gained the resist out of it, and I can enchant it up. Sort of competitive with the armor class. Let's see, we've got... I don't need the poison resist on it anymore, so I can put on the strands. Yeah, I mean, that alone is probably worth it. Yeah, those resists look pretty good. Um, Got five enchant armor. Sure, let's do it. And it looks fancy as well, right? I mean, this character's been pretty lucky with the equipment. Gold dragon armor. Man, this character should have been an Oni. I found a plus 10 giant spike club and gold dragon armor. Imagine that on an Oni. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, where's our way down here? Ooh, that's a lot of guys. Could almost be the rune vault or something. Probably not this one though, probably another one of these, um, we'll see what the treasure is. Yeah, just a sack of spiders in that one. Oh, it's got nets, of course it does. That's only a matter of time, uh, time. Why, why is my uh, evasion still 14? I know I've got plus 10, and I know I've got a bit of dodging. Seems quite a high though, for a character in golden dragon armor. Actually, what is my armor skill right now? It's not bad. It's uh, sitting on like uh, 11. My dodging's sitting on 13. Okay, actually. <laughs> That's probably why. Yeah, those uh, dodging and armor are pretty good. A lot better than I expected to be, although it kind of makes sense. I mean, no, everything's going to be around the same level. Huh, I'm still a throw with like 14.8. Seven skill. So that's actually a probably a title that I could get if I wanted to at some stage. It would be a, a bit more of a challenging rather than have to go with some race that's pretty tough to get that. But it's definitely doable. Oh, this dude's javelins. I should be able to get them because it's standing in a good spot. It's also got... Oh, it's an acrobat. It's silver javelins. Um, what don't I need anymore? I guess not the... I don't need the poison resist ring because I got the gold dragon armor giving me poison resist. Uh, I got refrigeration polyvonics. I never get polyvonics going. Definitely not. <laughs> like, uh, the Noel trying to get... I mean, like, actually, a Noel wouldn't have too much of a disadvantage for getting the that one going. Because if you want to get gold dragon armor specifically, because... Oh, what's this? Another man you're throwing? Sure. <laughs> Let's stack those ones up. Why not? Um... Because, like, you need lots of armor uh, skill, as well as lots of all the spellcasting skills to get that going. What am I carrying around? If Noel's trading everything, they'll probably get those about the same range as other people. I'll get the max out. Um, do I drop that positive energy? I'm not sure. I didn't have a resist negative. That's why I started to keep it around. Got all these unidentified things, that's what's causing me problems. 
Go draw my brilliance. Um, I'll maybe eventually want it, but I guess I can drop it for now. Yeah, I mean, who needs spells when you've got uh, javelins and boomerangs and that sort of thing, right? Uh, that's not quite right. Oh, well, I'll just throw, I guess. Oh, Deadly Accurate? I think I've had that title before. Let's see if I can get a new one. I don't need Spirit Guardian Stealth. But stealth doesn't help because it wouldn't even get me into positive stealth again. I don't think. That guy is S striking me, I think. I shouldn't throw it. I shouldn't throw it at even... Oh, actually I can. If I throw at the guy behind it... All right, what have we got here? We can identify, I mean, so many things. I might as well go to scroll brand weapon. Do I like draining? Uh, draining's okay. It's not my favorite brand. Um, I might hold on to those. I haven't seen any demon tridents, which I'm surprised about. I feel like the shawls is usually a pretty good source of demon tridents. Hey, speaking of demon tridents. <laughs> Just as I say that, of course, some dude turns out with a demon trident. Which is exactly what I want to see. I should just head this guy with a javelin. I don't think that's deep water, so I think I'm being sensible here. Oh. Wait, did my ancestor just die? Uh, this one's going to stay right where it is. So what I could do is I could start an emulation going. That didn't work. Huh. Uh, okay. I should still keep on javeling these guys. Got a bash one next to me, good, it's bleeding. Good, another one blowing up. There we go. And I can probably switch back to the ja uh, the boomerangs now. Oh, doesn't want to move through the fire. I mean, I guess that waits me out a few turns there. Go check these out, see which one's better. So actually, uh, I can just examine them from here. Plus two of flaming and... Plus two of freezing. Oh, freezing's not a bad brand, actually. <laughs> of course, I can't carry it. I guess I can drop the Holy Wrath, a uh, little trident there. And they're both plus two, so yeah. Uh, in fact, what's the skill required on this? Do I beat it? 40 skill required are very close. So it's getting down to almost 0 0.6 attack delay. And my current trading rate there would be 0.4 of a level. Oh yeah, not too bad. 26 damage. What is my... Oh, that's not what I was trying to do, but that works. What is my other one doing? 31 damage, but it's slow in attacking. I think I just go with a Demon Trident and chart that one up if I can. I can't, okay. I was like, I could probably drop the branding because I'm actually happy with freezing. And if I wanted to brand, I'd probably brand the other one anyway. Um... The entrance of Snake was a little nasty, but I got Fear Scrolls. Oh, they're all the way back there. Sure. Wait, that, uh, that Concentrate Venom doesn't take down when you're off the level, does it? Because that lasted the whole time I was doing the shoals, so it must not. And I've got, uh, Poison Resist, I've got Fire Resist, I've got enemies around me. Oh, I might just buff my ancestor. Okay. I got pretty badly poisoned there. Um, fears is guaranteed to work on these guys. They all might it up. Do I have to use a blinking?
Save is silly, but I think I do. Or... Can't get out of here with the transference, can I? Um, they're so close to be dead, but like... So am I. Man, that's a shame. I gotta blink up here and just drink a cure, I guess, like... Um, yeah, poison is just not quite pulling me through there. She killed this one. Oh, too injured to fight recklessly, sure. I mean, I'm in a fine situation now because I can just take everything out before it gets to me and stuff. Also, I should check if, like, Tannis is uh, going to be here today. I'm not sure he is. He's not streaming right now. Huh. Guess not. Guess there's no bonus game for me for a little while or something. Well, that's still a lot of guys. <laughs> Snake Pass has been way harder than Shoals today. U usually it's easier, but not today. Today it's like way harder than Shoals. And Shoals had better loot. Well, presumably. We'll see what loot I get in here. But it had a demon trident for me. It had a gold dragon arm for me. It had everything. Right, what do I want to do with Enchanter, not Enchanter? I want to identify a, not a weapon, a scroll, because I'm trying to find an Enchant weapon, although I can't have much. Oh, there it is. I got one of them. Sure. I mean, I'll do. And I could just do a potion or whatever. Berserk Rage, sure. Oh, well, I guess heading down is the right thing to do. How much else does my answers have these days? 55? Hmm. It's been feeling like a little bit fragile, but I don't think it's too fragile. It's feeling fine in the shoals. Alright, let's check out the jewelry. I think I've got some decent jewelry. So we've got a willpower resist corrosion fly one. Oh, fly could be good earlier. We've got a poison resist resist corrosion, which I got both of those. There's a slow fly resist electric resist fire. I've got a resist electric already on an amulet. Those that don't look the most useful. I mean the flight one maybe, just as like a flight ring, but Oh wow, that's a lot of guys. How fast is Easel anyway, 150% speed. Snake's fast as well. But I think I could just... Creep back and bring Azel upstairs, and then we can fight. There we go, and she's got her whole talisman, but I'm not interested in talismans when I've got such good armor. Yeah, I don't think there's any ones that don't replace half that'd be interested, in, like the blade ones or anything. I can theoretically use them probably. Wait, why is my ancestor just hitting trees? <laughs> sure. Well, plants those ones aren't actually trees. Come on, boys. Does this actually do something would be nice. I think it's one third chance of being ignored when you have poison resist on. Wait, what's my guy doing? Come on. Oh. Oh, these are the guys that are slower than me. I'm actually just gonna back up. Because <laughs> I got enough health to just back up to a staircase. So it's not a good spot to run for, so I'd definitely get really badly wounded if I did that. Let's just be upstairs. Have an answer. So where's that guardian summoner god? Oh there it is. Something even more guardian summons than as you do, I guess. Should go up soon, but I still got enough health to kill this one guy, I think. There we go. Uh, did I ever find a shield? That would be nice. I've got a- ooh, a towel shield. 
Wait, I've had that since dungeon level 14. I mean, I probably haven't really had the skill to use that before, but maybe now. So I've got a 0.6 attack delay, which is probably actually true. Um, like, actually that. Goes to a 0 0.7 attack delay, but I get 20-something shield value. That's probably worthwhile. Yeah, let's give that a try for a while, see how that feels. I mean, I lose my orb of light, but my accuracy is probably all right now. Like, I've got a 70% chance to hit that guy. It would definitely be a noticeable loss of damage, but I think it's worth it having this shield. So I'll try to rely on my ancestors' shield to tag for the both of us. Alright, uh, fighting to 14, pull-ups to 14. Why is not everything going to 14? Why just those? Oh, because those are my starter skills. That would be why. So they're actually slightly higher than my other skills. Who just said that trailed fire? That wasn't me, I don't think. Was that the electric eel or was that this dude? I mean, this guy's got magma bolt. It's probably the dude with magma bolt, honestly. Uh, this is okay. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I suppose these guys can even walk through water. I mean, I guess they're already salamanders. They're not at. Are they on fire? I don't know. I know they can go through lava, but I guess they can go through water as well. With shallow water, I don't think they can swim in deep water. But I don't think there's any creatures that can go in both uh, deep water and lava that don't fly. What's this one? Torment. Uh. Alright, well, let's go down. All oh, my staircase are together. I mean, it's probably better than, like, all the ones down are together than rather than... Uh, or like all the ones up are together or something. This body of stealth I don't need. I might just back up a bit. I see my reflection is doing a bit, but I think I still head back. Yeah, now that I've got a good shield to go with the reflection, it actually does a bit. Actually, I should just throw at these guys. Gotta try and take out some of the some of the firing squad. Uh and I'll leave Vashti until last because I can come back down when I've like healed up again and finish her off. Actually, I can probably just finish her off like right now. There we go. Oh, that's the funny thing about her doing so much damage and me having so much reflection. Hey, Mara with the plus two demon trying to pain. Let me just run back to the staircase here. I don't know if he noticed me. He probably didn't. Oh, he did. Sure. Uh, I'll let him, like, deduplicate himself. Hmm. I might just have to go down those staircase because I don't think that's quite working with him. Bringing this guy is okay. I might just go back down the Mara one, actually. <laughs> yeah, then it should just be me versus Mara, where he's got to. And, oh, he's got a pole arm. That makes him hard. Oh. What just happened there? Oh, that's a back and a... Ah. That's what happened there. Okay, well, that was a fake Mara next to the staircase, otherwise it would have followed me up. Should I just, like, amnesia up the lesser beckoning so I can fight Mara properly? <laughs> uh, probably not, but it's something I could do. I don't even know which one of these is the real. Obviously not the one I took out.
Well, that's not working. I got a maybe barely would. I don't even know if that was a real hem. Wait, less of anything doesn't have that large a range, does it? I don't know. Mara seems to think so. Ow. Huh. Still duplicated up. Okay, I might just wait a few turns. If I buff up my answers, then maybe I'll do a little bit better here. Uh, not the real one. Okay. Oh, too many of them. I brought out me again. Oh, no, that's not right. I just step back once. I don't find enough health noodles. I was going to like transfer it to myself as a staircase, but. Hmm. I guess I do, but. I can't have to go down another staircase. That's just not working for me. I guess I just kind of exclude off this whole corner of the map and hopefully I don't have to fight Mara to a lot later on. Because I do have a couple of staircases here, even if they're both next to each other. Which one was the bad staircase? Was it this one? Yeah, it was. Okay, let me exclude that one. Sorry that this staircase will get, like, too surrounded, but it's okay at the moment. Ugh. Well, I do have a fear. I guess it's probably... In fact, I got eight whole fears, so... I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, getting surrounded by those guys. It's probably going to happen again any second now. There we go. I might try... No, my cause fear of spell doesn't work. I might just try going up. Nah. <laughs> I think this is actually not going to require any fear or anything. I think this is going to work. Also, I should check shields because I know the Naga warriors often have those, although there haven't been any this time around. Just uh, the basic town shield's not bad. What's the delegation of orcs doing here? Ah, St. Roka? Wait, St. Roka? Huh. I didn't even realize they could be in the orcish mines. Not the orcish mines, they're always in the. Uh, often the orcish mines. In the. Um, what are they? In snake birds. Is that a new thing, or have they always been on being the snake prince? I've just not seen them here much. Huh. I'm actually sure of that. Okay, it's a bit of smiting, but I'm still good. There we go, got rid of them. I mean, it's a lot better fighting them now than fighting them in the orcish mines. In the orcish mines, you just kind of had to leave them be a lot of the time. Uh, I just trying to think if there's something I would have thought that I'd strength out for. I don't have a slaying ring, do I? I don't think so. Because that would be, definitely be nice, I think, with a demon try. Because demon try is a reasonably quick attack. What, point, uh, well, it's point seven at the moment because my shield, but it's 0.6 naturally. And then I've already hit the mid delay, I think. Yeah, you got 14 pole ups, which is enough. Uh, I'll leave that little corner. It's probably got still got Mara sitting in it. 
Whoa, okay. Not too bad. But I'll find another staircase, I think. So it's Mara. Oh, Mara is guarding one of my staircases down. Hopefully two of them will be enough, though. It's funny how with this character, the electric eels are not really... Not the electric eels, the uh, uh, strong servants are not really a challenge. Because I know with a lot of characters, those can be absolutely lethal. In fact, I've had a character before that just wandered into the snake person and instantly died to an electric eel before they even got a chance to find nothing else. That was kind of a sad game. Because the characters doing really well as well. They just weren't able to do electric eels. Ooh, that's exactly what I want. Two job weapons? Nice. Yeah, because that brings you up to 30 damage. Um, this might actually make a big difference. Each enchant weapon I throw on this one. Alright, there's more identifiers sitting here. I can use that on. I'll do the scroll. Just silence. I mean, that's not too bad. I don't have a vile flood or anything. So, it's still pretty useful. There's no escape here. Is there? This is the closest I got to a choke point, I guess. Oh. That's gotta be the the rune chamber going down this way. It kind of does look like one of the rune chambers with a winding passageway. Um, which isn't too bad a one if it's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, hopefully not too many more. Oh, there's a shield. Cold resist. Hopefully not too many more of the, um, Guardian servants. So it's just a kite shield, although how much skill have I got? I got 30 shield skill. Kind of want to give that a try. So, oh, I can't deal with these guys first. I should probably actually go, do I go upstairs to try it out? Because there's bar upstairs. Maybe I'll just go back somewhere on this level. It looks reasonably safe. Yeah, like over here. Uh, give that a try. So I've got 24 shield value, 14 evasion. Actually, if you just look at them now, I think it tells you. So I'd lose 5 shield value, but i gain like an evasion back. Um, Which also means i gain point one attack speed back, or point zero nine, I guess, because it's not quite an entire one. Be pretty much back up to normal attack speed with that one. Uh... I don't know, I don't really need the cold resist. I think if I if I needed the cold resist, I'd definitely put it on, but eh, it's not that important. Is this an apple tree with some apples here? Let's see, it's got some strawberries. I guess it's not a apple tree then. <laughs> Actually, are apples? Apples were a thing in this game, I'm pretty sure. In terms of food. I don't know, I don't remember seeing like a message about eating an apple, but there's so many different types of fruit I might just have not got through them all. Uh, I might actually exclude up... Yeah, it's definitely the boss chambers. I might exclude up... Well, I might even say boss chambers, rune chambers. Uh, Char, place a cheaper ring with a cheaper ring, whatever. There's cold resist. There's... Oh, there's a wizardry, but poison resist isn't that important. There is a slaying here for 500 gold. That would be better than my strength. How's my cold resist too? I mean, that's probably fine. Ooh, a manual of shields? Uh, a manual of pole arms? Both of those are actually useful, and I don't think they'd interrupt my title because uh, throwing's the same aptitude, and because it's currently high, it will stay higher. Also, it doesn't matter if I get the pole arms title because I haven't had the no pole arms title. Uh, what's armor? That's good, isn't it? Oh, wait, there's animate armor, hellfire model, stone arrow, crystal spear. That's not quite what I'm after. Pastor Glabria, crystal spear, silence there, right? I probably don't need those books. Oh, these books, movement. What was movement again? Vise. I mean, Vise is alright. Uh, Gravat's probably too high a level. 
I don't really need that cover to spring. Seems a little silly. Anyway, once they get like a hundred more gold, they can go buy the slag because that should be an improvement over the strength. Hopefully. I gotta, I'll have to try take off the strength beforehand and see how much def difference it makes with my damage. Because at least with the slag, you know exactly how much difference it'll make. Oh, hey, man, so it's got a talent shield of reflection. Both got talent shields of, well, effectively reflection. Mine's from an amulet, but. Hey, it's the same thing. We've actually got magic shields right now, which is kind of funny. Although next time my ancestor dies, they'll come back with like a different tower shield. Buff the ancestor. I don't really want to swap place my ancestor right now. I might just stay where I am in the midst of all those guys. Because that's one way of getting out of uh, an area where you're surrounded. Swapping with your ancestor. Oh, I saw another guy with a tower shield. Let's see what that one is. Probably plus zero, but it could be better. Oh, it is. It's protection. Plus one shield protection. That's nice. I'll take that one. <laughs> yes, please. All right, where is it? Oh, yes, me and my answers are not matching with our shields anymore, but that's fine. Also, I don't need to solve light anymore. I'm definitely better off with a tower shield of protection. That's for sure. Right, top back up those healing potions. I have been using them. This is an old chemical conduit. Does that actually do anything? I think it's just a statue, right? I think so. Anyway, that's my second rune. I'm, what, two-thirds of the way there in terms of runes, anyway. And I've got everything I need for the bolts, I think. I've got three willpower. I've got a bit of resist cold. I've got a bit of resist electric. That should be everything I need for the bolts. These that are going to the depths, but... Yeah, I've probably got most of the stuff I need for the devs, but I think the vaults is probably weaker. Oh, I could go to the other novels, but hey, I still think the vaults is probably weaker. Especially when I'm flighting those guys' missiles back at them. What's the chance of marking it? It's probably, oh, it's 9%. Okay, it's actually still got a reasonable chance there on the marking. Uh... I think I buffed my ancestor. Donald's not usually too bad. Yeah, he's getting taken out pretty quick. He can be absolutely terrifying, though, if you're not tough enough to take him out because he case up, so you can't just run away from him or anything when things go wrong. I mean, maybe unless you're a Spriggan or something, a Spriggan probably could. I should get rid of actually the guy that recalls. Yeah, it's going to be the point where my ancestors are not quite surviving anymore, I think. I've been, uh, it's been a couple of battles where they weren't quite seem like they, they were surviving, although one of those was Donald, so that doesn't really count because that's a unique. And I'm fine with, like, buffing up my ancestors to fight uniques. There's not that many uniques. But yeah, just like a regular troll battle took out my ancestor. Um... I think I've got this on the back. Hey, look, magic shields again. <laughs> My skills just increased there. That's my fighting problems dodging. Interesting that it was all started at the exact same level. Because those ones I started with as a monk, I guess. Uh, uh. I'll try to move back just to cover, but it's not necessarily going to work perfectly. Well, this guy keeps on <laughs> reflecting off my shield. The problem, well, it did let me out. The problem with that, though, is that uh, there was some chance that the guy would just seal off the doorway and not let me out. But I don't know what happened to the guy that sealed the doorway, because it seems it got lost. Oh, there it is.
Hey, Gazerin, no useful spells yet? Um, I got gold dragon armor, Gazerin, so... I mean, I got Blink as a useful spell, but... I'll see if there's anything else I can get, but it's gonna have to be very low-level spells as a gold dragon armor. <laughs> yeah, I just found this, like, randomly in a shop in, uh, Shoals, I think. And it was affordable, so I was like, sure, why not? I'll take some gold dragon armor. Oh, also, when I get money, oh, I should buy the manuals, shouldn't I? But they, that dragon armor is really expensive. Could get me into treasure trove. Oh, I've got a chart armor there as well. I think I'll buy the manuals next, though. Man, I got so much stuff to buy. It's not your normal game where you can kind of end up with tons of money. This one's uh, a game with the best shops ever. Uh oh, where am I dropping? This looks fine. Oh, this doesn't look fine. Uh, buff the ancestor. I bring all the spiders, but see how long this one's lived for. Fortunately, did get base huge and some of the. Webs, that would have been nice. Oh, my ancestor needs a bit of a buff there. I might get uh, some dragon armor of base huge, and I don't think I did. Looks like she dropped the talisman, though. Bl dragon blood talisman of hate with resist negative and willpower on it, sure. But no, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get me into a trove, unfortunately. How's it going there, Gazer? You got a character going at the moment? Or nothing today? Oh, book of calling. So I want some low-level summonings. I mean, they're probably the only summonings that would actually be a level I could actually cast, but I don't think I'm worried about low-level summonings. Alright, so I got the crypt of guessing in here. Maybe. I mean, Lindworms don't really seem like the right thing to be guarding the crypts, but all the other things seem like the right stuff to be guarding the crypts. So I might just leave that area for a little while. I'm just basically looking for the staircase. Ooh, an electric dragon. That's excellent. Oh, it's gonna recoil less. Actually. I got Quicksilver. Oh, I might have missed, or... Ah, there we go. Oh, no, it's not right now, but that's a shame. I oh, haven't played in a while, actually. You might try something soon. Got any anything that's inspiring you to play? I'm trying to think if there's been anything reworked. I mean, mainly it's been God reworked, I think, in this version of the game. As, uh, what, what God's been reworked? I know Disc got reworked. What's this other one? Bjorn got reworked? That was this version, right? I don't know, it's been a completely god reworks this version. <laughs> and a lot of them are quite good as well. Oh, I should have stopped this game recalling, although I've still got a turn. Hey, Sally, how's it going? And I think there's a MacLev rework underway, but it's not um, in trunk yet or anything. So we'll see how long... Uh, it takes to rework Maglev, but the gods have been reworked at quite some high rate at the moment. Oh, an armor shop. I, plus six ring mail is not really worth it. Plus four scale mail is not really worth it. I was hoping for a little bit more auxiliary armor there. And no, it's all, uh, all body armor. I just stand like in the middle of this floor. The archers are gonna die. I think this is fine. Oh, come on, ancestor. Oh, that's not the right one. I'll try to recall them back a little bit. Just try to get this guy away from the wall so it doesn't freeze me. Although, getting frozen wouldn't be too bad. What have we got here? Cancellation? Nice. And it was in fact the crypt. Actually, am I meant to be taking upstairs? 
I might as well just finish this level at this point because I've pretty much uh, explored it already anyway. There we go. Now I can take my upstairs. Oh, uh, D.O. has a design? Oh, it's designed a ton of uh, different marks for it to make. Uh, so it's taking a while. Right, that's... Right, the, right, the developer that's working on it, right. Hard to come up with, like, nine different things that work well. Yeah, without them all just, like, being too similar to each other or something, they don't really feel unique. No, I I know that, like... That's often a problem with trying to come up with anything creative. You just kind of... Sort of end up falling into, like, a pattern where they're all the same. That sort of thing. Oh, that's a nice hatch. Regen. Resist negative minus two end. I mean, I don't care about the end too much. Plus three? I mean, I like that. I need some regen because I didn't get an ad of regen. Then I got a really good uh, reflection one, so I'll take that. And I think I'm just wearing, like, plus two hat or something, so it's an extra armor class as well. Alright, well. Especially one of each resist now. Or at least one of each resist. Some of them are higher. Ooh, at least I got reflection to reflect on these guys' own bolts back at them. Uh, I think it's fine if I answer the dice. After all, they will always be back and I can survive the immediate battle there. All right, where's my way down? Oh, I guess I can actually need two ways down. Also, plus Inui, is that his name? Wait, what is it? Where's his name? It's the hat of Inui, whatever that does for me. I think it makes you look cool, all right? It almost looks like I'm wearing a crowd running around like this. Uh... I just bring half of these upstairs. Well, it's not quite half, but it will do. I don't know, hats are always so much more like stylish in this game than the helmets. I mean, helmets are more protective, but the hats definitely win with the style points, right? Oh, hey, X2. I've got an A fire in this. Uh -huh. I just take they can't be paralyzed because they do our uh, three percent. Three percent is that enough to worry about? Can I paralyze X to her? No, I can't. That'd be kind of uh, karmic if I could paralyze X to her. Oh, ow! There's more guys coming along. Though by pulling this guy, uh, by pulling X to her behind uh, around my hands, I get to do some damage. But my answer is I should get to uh, beat them up, but... Oh. That was the guy that can electrocute me. I might have to go all the way back. to oh, a staircase. Can't just walk around this guy, right? No, I can't. I have to go around the long way. I have a regen now, so I might just be able to heal up and then go back down and still... Yeah, still have X to who are wounded. Alright, excellent. Oh, this is probably going to die paralyzed like that. Try to get them alive, but oh, it's just not working. I them back alive, but... Mm. It's costing a bit of piety, just constantly buff my answers, but I think this is going alright. I don't need the fire dragon scales, though. I oh, you mean, you probably have enough enlightenment if you uh, don't want to worry about it. Yeah, I probably could have. I mean, I mean, 3% is almost enough to, like, uh, take a serious risk. I don't know. Because if I did get paralyzed, it could end really bad. Um, I don't know. I probably do have enough enlightenment. I could have just used it. Wait, so it was one of the highest success monsters in the game. What is, like, the kill ratio? 
But I, I've had a number of characters taken out because they're one of the only things that does fire damage, right? I actually know how to spell eggs to who. I hope that's how you spell it. Uh, is it not kill ratio? I don't know. What was the command? It was one that lists like the chance of them winning. Oh, there it goes. It's 0 0.748. That doesn't sound that high. What's another? That's less than Zanana, right? Uh... Although I think Zanana is actually really to be high in terms of the false uniques. Oh, wait, Zanana's up to like 4.5%, 4.6%? Wow. Wait, what's Menace at? Is that more than Menace? I'm sure. Okay, I think your kill ratio has gone up. Uh... I don't know. I'm sure it didn't used to be that high. I mean, I guess you could list it by version or something to see if it actually has gone up, but... I'm sure you should used to have like 2% or something. Yeah, even Menace is like 2.4%. Wow, okay. I mean, I know her dancing weapons can be really lethal, but still. Uh, I'm actually back up here. My head is about to disappear. Gonna fight without an answer, so I might as well have a staircase. Oh, whoops. I uh, guess that's alright. I try to check on Frederick. Frederick, I mean, Frederick's been uh, usually pretty non-lethal. Huh, only a little bit uh, lower than... Wait, that's even higher than Eggs to Hua. How is Frederick higher than Eggs to Hua? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. Wait, can you get Eggs to Hua somewhere else, like the devs or something? I don't think you can, right? I guess that's the thing about Zanata, like, she doesn't really appear anywhere else that I know about. So, the ones that already, like, appear in a very narrow range of branches tend to be, well, have a higher kill ratio, because you never just see them later on and kill them easily. I'm really surprised though, Frederick have a higher kill ratio, that doesn't make any sense. I know he's got, like, decent bolts, but... I don't even know if I died to Frederick, I mean, it might have. Uh Ah. I saw Frederick. I think it's like that. Oh, whoops, that's missed uh Miss Belt is a little extra character in there. Oh wait, that's not uh is that how you spell Frederick? That's not how you spell Frederick, is it? It's got a K on the end, doesn't it? Maybe that? I guess if I check for like people globally dying to someone with this name, I'll know if I spelled it correctly or not, right? Right, so I haven't even died to Frederick. I mean, that makes sense. Huh. I mean, I guess he catches some people off guard, but I'm still surprised he has a higher kill ratio than the X to her. Do I just back up to the staircase? Is it even going to be fine to back up to the staircase? It might still be some guys here from earlier. No, this looks fine. Huh? I don't know if it really helped me be back in the staircase because it's not like I could even go up till I killed that one dude anyway. Uh, plus zero tells you. I should also let my answers do something. I should have just hogged the choke point there. Especially since I'm the one with the pole arm. I think you can reach through your answers without any penalties or anything. Ooh, uh, uh Wizlab. Uh, I must well identify the portion I've got. Uh, do I actually want to drop that identify? Hold up. Yeah, I do. Uh, I got two revelations. Sure, why not? It's not that one. That's a sharp. It's that one, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. 
Or like in the max damage that Frederick's on a turn. Wait, he's done 157 damage to someone? To... Mid... And eight? Right. What did he do? I mean, he oh, was an iron shot? Were they fragile or something? How long ago was that? No, it was like four years ago. Probably not. I mean, I guess a Zomitor can hit you with some damage and then he hits you with damage, right? I should get strength. And uh, if they both hit you with a iron shot or something, it definitely adds up, but... Huh. There must be something like what happened there, because I don't think a single one of his iron shots is going to do anywhere near that damage before Fragile was a thing. And that was probably before Hard Stacky as well. Oh, what, what is the way of getting average? I know there is a way of doing it. I know it's not, it's not like AVG or something. It's not, I don't think it's even one average. I don't know. What do I need? I could probably drop the flame and the polymorph, honestly. So his average turn damage when he does damage is almost 60. How does that compare with someone like X to Hua, though? Uh, let me go check. Oh, you're probably beating me to it. Oh, Frederick feels very spiky. What did I do wrong there? Oh, ah, I missed the space. Whoops. I mean, yeah, because he has a caster, right? So I guess I could catch you off, uh, off guard. Right, his average damage when he does damage is like more than someone like Ace to Hua, which is actually quite impressive because Ace to Hua is a fire breath. Ooh, Takeem as well. You gotta be a bit careful of this one. You usually don't do bad, but you got the whole... What's that? The whole dancing whiff. It's, oh, cloud of energy. Oh, because this guy started, like, in uh, it's turned inside and then it blinked out immediately. Yeah, like, there's a... That's just a plus zero long, but often there's, like, highly enchanted dancing weapons in here. And they're often ranged ones as well. They're both plus zero long bows of flaming. Uh, that was not, is it? Yeah, yeah that's more like it. A plus one longbow speed. I mean, it's got random slow and speed and slow. That's funny. Oh, I got this whole strange machines which do their whole shadow creatures thing. So I'll try to avoid that one for a little bit and just do the rest of here and then finish them off, I think. Oh, Phantom Bear. Yes, please. And there's also some fancy looking boots in here. Uh... I'm buried up the book. I mean, that's fine. Because I'm taking it out quickly. But two smite books is definitely worse than one. Okay. Is it just one strange machine? Is it usually multiple? That's me, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That's fine. In fact, that guy, me pulling me in with some um, lesser beckoning was kind of useful. Oh god, boots of willpower. Lots of willpower. Why don't you not my boots? I don't think they're... Wait, am I not even wearing boots? I don't think I'm wearing boots, so obviously the willpower wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's endless willpower, right? Maxed out with that one. And the hat of willpower? I mean, I, I don't need that. Scarf of Repulsion, Rampage, and Sea Invisible. I've got a cloak of resist cold, right? Ah, oh, it does contaminate you as well if you take it off. Rampage is useful. Probably also feels a little unnecessary with this character. Because I've been doing just fine with the missiles anyway. Alright, I think I'm done. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, there's this whole speed slow bow... <laughs> On the ground. But let me just get out of here. That was not too bad. The strange machine can be bad though. Uh, at least I have javelins. But what it can do is it can... Oh. It can burn these guys. It can like summon a, up a bunch of things in the way. At least that's not what I want to see. All the guys that are burning are in the back row. That's more like it. Yeah, It's 
still okay, but can I just warping this guy out of here? Oh, warping it out of existence will do. Uh That staircase, not that staircase. The one I actually know about. So I was just trying to find someone to heal up. Oh, Mara Illusions was beckoning, pulling you off the stairs, though. Yeah, yeah, I had that earlier, actually. Um, <laughs> and the uh, snake birds, and I just left Mara in the end because it was kind of getting ridiculous. I almost thought of like amnesia up the spell because it's not like I've ever used it myself. I've only ever had illusions use it on me. I was Bombard, Hellfire Mortar, Hothros Cannonade, Brom's Barely Boulder. Oh, there's a Book of Warp if I wanted uh, some of that stuff. But what I should get is the Patio of Pull-Ups. Or, no, actually, I should get the Patio of Shields. Because, um, my, I'm already on mid delay with my Pull-Up, whereas my Shield can definitely do more. And it's not going to mess up my title, because I've got two stacked up throwing manuals, and I got them earlier. So they'll definitely... Do the throwing first. Uh... But I will get that manual of pull if I ever get the money for it. I don't have to worry about this guy marking me. I'm pretty sure it's going to be 0% with my maxed out willpower. What have we got here? Ooh, an acquirement. It's <laughs> a jar diver. Such useful stuff that I can't afford. Um, I think I'm good with the fog at least. Well, I could buy more later on. What's better to get next? The acquirement or just go straight for the pull arms manual? Or even just go for the enchant arm might be a good idea, because this armor's not maxed out, nowhere near maxed out. And even my, I've got a shield as well, it's probably best to make sense to... I mean, manuals make sense to grab earlier, maybe I'll go for the manual, and then I'll work on the... Uh, the pole arms later, uh, the enchant armor later on. Is there a food throwing tile? Uh, there certainly is there, Sally, there's the... Uh, well, I guess for me, it'll be the Nolish one. The, uh, I think it's Ballister. Yeah, so that's uh, the one I'm going for. And I believe it's what I haven't had before. I did check, um, but that doesn't mean I didn't miss it. I mean, I can check again, see what it is. Uh, see which ones I've had. I don't think I've had many null titles. I think I've already played like eight nulls or something. And not a lot of the titles weren't even that unique because nulls are hard to get titles with. All right, well, Elden Halls makes obvious sense for all my willpower. Yeah, I've had the Shields one. Uh, oh, I had Politician on a null. Crazy. I've had Mark's Knoll, so I've had uh, one of the ranged ones as well. Not the highest tier ranged one, though. But really not a lot of foo titles there on the Knolls. Actually, I've had, the, I've had one of the Dissolving Knolls, so I've had a Jiva one as well. And Knoll Mishap, which is uh, one of the many Quasla ones. I say many because I think there's like four race specific Quasla ones or something. Oh, hey, draw a grun. Uh, do I just read a silence to make him useless or. I don't think I do immediately. I think I. Oh, actually. If I buff up my ancestor, I can have two ancestors. I might have two ancestors. There we go. Look at that. Not a lot of gnolls, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Gnolls are somewhat interesting, but. Oh, plus two boots, maybe. I don't need as much willpower. 
kind of depends a little bit with Knowles um, to whether I like playing them or not, because I've had some really, really fun Knowles, and I've had old ones that feel like, oh, hey, as real. I feel like they're struggling the, the entire game. And this one definitely feels on the strong side of things. Well, Asriel died. I guess they got freezing and he's probably vulnerable to that. Uh-oh. Did I just fall into Hall of Blades? No, I missed it somehow. <laughs> okay, then. There was probably an over 50% chance that I'd fall into the Hall of Blades there because it usually takes up the majority of the level. All right, so first level done. Let's go down. I don't think I've got much teleport. Yeah, I'm down to like three teleport. I haven't used much either. I just haven't found much. I could emulate these guys. How many emulations have I got left? I'm going to emulate these guys. Just for fun. <laughs> also, I think it's probably the optimal thing to do. Well, that fire's doing more damage. I guess I've already got uh, more damage than I thought of it. I guess I've already got the one resist to the fire. Level 22 feels pretty decent. Yeah, it certainly doesn't feel like I'm falling behind because then I've got the whole devs to do, the rune branch. I'm actually going to do this Hall of Blades because I need the enchant weapons. I don't think I've got any sitting around. I do have an enchant armor sitting around I should use. Uh, put on my gold dragon armor, I think. Ooh, distortion. I should definitely take that out with ranged. Just try not to run up too much, um, because I don't want to attract more guys than I have to here. Alright, what else have we got hiding in this Hall of Blades? I know there's got to be more, because I haven't really seen a lot of high-tier weapons so far. There's got to, at the very least, be the high-tier weapons. Oh, there's a larger tag. That's a high-tier weapon. Oh, there should be another high tier weapon in here. Alright. Shout this to plus seven, bring me up to 35 damage. What am I down to with my attack delay? 0. 0.7 still, yeah, shield. Really do need that manual to do some work. But it's really great because once you get one manual, basically just lasts the rest of the game with a null. Because nulls, I mean, they put very little XP into each skill, but they, um, huh, I don't think I idealize. But they have really good aptitude. So when you effectively double the rate it's training, and the, because you put so little XP into it, it basically doesn't run out of manual. It's really effective. I should have waited for answers to heal, I think. That's yeah, fine. They're pretty much healed anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's the other weapon. A double, uh, triple sword. Double sword? Triple sword? Triple sword, I think. Yeah, there it is, triple sword. It's the second triple sword this character's seen. I found one, like, really early in the dungeon, I think, right? He said, I didn't want to use it because it was two-handed. And it requires so much skill that it would be really hard to get as a null. Excellent. I am done there. Which means I can take any escape patches up here because I've done the Hall of Blades. Oh, well, presumably I find an escape patch. There's actually still a tiny chance that it ends up somewhere I haven't explored. Because you sometimes do have parts of a level that are only accessible by escape patch. They're kind of rare though. And they tend to be more those for, uh, like, Formicid characters. Because you have the whole... Wait, not Formicid characters... Ashen Zari characters, I think, because you have the whole, um, like, magic mapping of a little area around, you can sometimes detect them. Oh. These cannons are actually kind of nasty with the fact that they block your retreat. I just gotta repel myself. I still just keep on throwing stuff at it until it gets within melee range.
All right. Trying to nod the track too many creatures. It seems to be doing fairly well. Oh, um, I must back up. <laughs> this guy will talk to me a bit. I can't see the summoner, which has got to be in there somewhere. There it is. Stay back and throw, because I'm actually pretty good at throwing. What is my throwing skill on 20? It's my high skill by quite a bit, even. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's meant to lay on, I think, everything I can actually use, right? Because it's like 16 for the javelins. I can't use the large rocks, which I think are a bit higher, but... I've got an evasion ring. We've also got mage and bow, which... If I were to switch into the spellcasting or something... <laughs> I could use a mage and bow, but I don't think I will because I'm liking my gold dragon armor. Oh, this guy's going to get extra lives. I might retreat back, actually. Yeah, now there's all the like blade, curari dots. Do I have any curaries to stack those with? I guess not. Um. Oh, I can drop the repulsion. It's not like I'm going to use it. I know it's got the rampage on it, but I got throwing. I don't really need the rampage. Oh, fire resist. Do I have a... I have one of those. I've got a pulse energy I can drop as well. Because... I got one from something that I'm wearing. I can't even remember what anymore, but I know I've got one. Ooh, a death talisman. Ah, my shape to is only a plus. Oh, plus seven's not terrible. I've got 14 skill. It might get there eventually. It's not going to get there in a hurry, though. Um, I might pick it up anyway. It can still be useful for taking off, uh, contaminate things if I need to. Uh, good old stuffs. What else have we got? Wait, more gold dragon armor? Plus 11. Oh, it's got random slow in it, though. So I gained 5 armor class and 10 magic points and a resist negative. Oh, man, that minus slow is disappointing. I carry it around just because it looks cool, but I'm not sure if it's actually worth it. I don't need the magic points, do I? I mean, the cause fear is almost usable again, but... Oh, if that's usable, that means a visor is probably usable. And a pile driver as well, I guess. Uh, where's the vise? Come on. Oh, is it a book that's for sale, isn't it? I don't think I've actually got it on me. Yeah, it was in that one, the book of movement. Now, oh, well. That will have to be added to my long list of items that I'm saving up for. Why does it feel like every very good radar is slow? Because I think if they get negative properties, they get extra positive properties to make up for it. I read the silence. Oh, wait, I want to move forward to them. Read. Oh. What is that? Distortion. This is probably fine. Oh, I should buff my ancestor up first. Oh well. Wait, it would have been another turn for her to summon in more weapons, so maybe not. And she's got a whole executioner's axe. Does she just have like a random high tier weapon? Because I know she's had triple swords before. Executioner's axe? I feel like it is just a random one. Anyway, depth's time. I'm not sure if the enchantment bonus goes up as well on the items with negative properties. I know that they get extra properties. Oh, uh... Hmm. Yes, that's alright. There are a few dragons here.
There we go. And to a choke point, I should be good. I've got a regen. I've got a big shield. I've got everything I need. In fact, my armor class is almost up to 40. It's going to be a little bit and it should reach 40. Because I am trading. Well, of course, I'm trading armor. Hey, there's my ancestor as well. They're back. Oh, she always has big weapons. Yup. No, that makes sense. But I don't think there's any, like, specific pattern to her weapons apart from the fact that they're, like, big ones. I don't know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a small list that she chooses from or something. I don't think I need a weapon shop, but maybe I'll rift or something. If I get extremely lucky. Oh, those good javelins. Should add that to my list, although I should go buy a manual, like, right now. How's that hand cannon? Oh, <laughs> good for a different character. Okay, I'll buy the manual, then I'll probably buy the acquirement after that. Then I can, oh, then I can probably buy, the, I should buy the Storm Dragon up at some stage, although... What do you mean, don't know how to get there? Oh, I got shafted, didn't I? Oh, teleport it? Maybe we'll teleport. Wait, it's Rue reasons? Is this more like Gozag reasons? That's why I'm misinterpreting things. The good thing would at least allow me to buy everything. <laughs> and also, with this character, I would have gotten to be one of the few good egg uh, characters with gold dragon armor because I didn't get it off a dragon, I got it off a shop. Uh, Chant armor sounds good. I'll keep going with my armor. I don't think I'll go with the artifact. Oh, it's the slow. Can Rue remove slow? Oh, Rue can remove slow. Oh, interesting. No, that makes sense. You could just put on their good gold dragon armor and then just not worry too much about the slow. Right. Huh. I mean, I can almost do that. I mean, it's also like formicid reasons, right? <laughs> Because if you're a Fobbison, you also can't be slowed. Uh, where does buff my ancestor? I should be able to be doomed up by the Doom Hounds. Yeah, that worked uh, really well. I've got... I mean, there's more in haste here. That could be later. Maybe the magic. Maybe the might. I don't really think I need the enlightenment, but I'll add it to the shopping list. It could be there on my things to buy list. For when I someday become rich. Hmm, I went back up a little. Oh. Oh, okay. That'll do. I guess. Uh, I don't think I've got an ancestor anymore. Can I just. Step back once more. I want to get a few more of these guys in view, and I think I want to burn them all. Where's the boot? Ah, uh, not boot rakes, jabs. Yeah, take that, Spriggins. <laughs> get set on fire. Try and dodge a fireball. Oh, Ellie can too. Uh, Ellie is best. Uh, random rage god confirmed. Wait, what does Ellie do with random rage? Can. Surely, oh, because you can get rid of the slow afterwards. I guess that makes sense. Although I feel like uh, Ash and Zari's got to be competitive in terms of random range gods, right? Divine Vigor Berserk. Oh, Divine Vigor Berserk can give you tons of hit points. In fact, it's actually now possible, I mean, uh, to get an even higher max hit points that I previously got. I mean, I didn't actually quite get the max when I went for max hit points. I wonder whether it's still the leader in terms of max hit points. But yeah, because the, the one-of-a-kind ring shop um, can now sell rings that give plus hit points. So, and some of those can go up to like plus 15, I think is the highest I've seen someone get. I'm not actually sure on the real canvas, so... Uh,
Uh, what's the command I'm trying to do here? I think I just do that. Not that. Okay. That. Right, so I'm still still leading. No one's uh, managed to get lucky with finding the one of a kind shop. You'd have to be crazy lucky, though. I think this is fine. Oh, maybe not. Buff the ancestor. Huh. Got one resist negative right, which isn't perfect. But Boris is trying to get me there with the misery or whatever that stuff is called. Ooh. Gotta resist electric. I could silence. I won't silence just yet. In fact, I might buff my ancestor. I might just do this with a couple of ancestors. There we go. That beat him up. Yeah, because it's kind of uh, rather late to be fighting him anyway. And with the resist electric, he's not going to like one shot me with his chain lightning or anything like that. Yeah, in theory, that uh, max hit points. Well, what do you need to beat it? I mean, you need to be really lucky with your... Well, actually, to beat it is not that hard. You could just wear the um, Octopode King rings because they give a little bit more health. But to, like, absolutely max it out, you'd have to be really lucky with your random shop. Seven decks and some evasion? I don't know if that's worth it or not, but it's something. And you'd, like, maybe get a couple of rings to give plus 15 or whatever the max health hit points are. And then you'd probably also use the uh, finger necklace to uh, put on one of the octopus king rings. Actually, no, the shop could potentially sell three rings. Oh, that's not working. That's very not working. I'm going to bring out some spiders. There we go. Got one of the dudes in the net. Oh, didn't stay in the net. Come on, guy. I don't think I'm really affecting the guy in front with the javelin, but I'm doing good damage to the other one with the javelin. Oh, you love that Boris has a, has a red art robe get generated now? He had Archmanto region plus three robe in your current game? Too bad you wouldn't... Oh, you weren't wanting robes? Yeah, he, I think I've used his robes before, because like previous to him having red art ones, you almost never use them. Oh, if I saved up a little bit of a chart armor, I could get a trove. How many did it want? Two. Is it worth using two enchant armor to get into a trove? But I honestly probably could. It's either that or trying to use 1,400 gold to get into a trove, which is reasonably expensive, and that's actually not bad with a slang, but. Uh. I do have two enchant armor here that I could use to get in. Unfortunately, that's also useful because, um, I can put it on my armor. So it might just be worth saving up the money and heading over the uh, random artifacts. In fact, I may be very soon. Uh, actually, right now, I, I should go buy something else. What are my rings? Are they good now? Strengths? They're not that good. Vasion willpower's alright. Although I don't need the willpower anymore. Um, I could go buy the slaying. I don't think that's worth my money, though. Go buy the Book of Movement, try and get some Vines Electric Charge. Go buy the Enchant Armor, just Enchant my current armor. I can save my money and buy the... I don't know. Ugh, why? Why are you retreating, Ancestor? That was a perfect spot to retreat back once, so that we could both be at the choke point. It's probably not worth too easy forever, yeah. It's probably, yeah, it's probably better just to get slightly more money and just, like, buy the, um, buy my way in. Altros are usually not worth much unless you're very short equipment. Yeah, this character's not. This character's got a good tower shield, gold dragon armor. Oh, what's that item on the ground? That's a rope, was it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, there is a possibility of it having better enchanted armor, but I doubt it. Oh, come on. Move forwards. I guess I can move forwards if it doesn't want to.
Wicked creation? What is that? This must be a new book. Rhyme-like death general sculpt simulacrum. Oh, so that's what these uh, movement ones because it must be more expensive. Otherwise, it would have asked me if I wanted to get a cheaper one. Some horrible things have been lying game. I have a good something. But I don't think that was what I'm going for in my gold dragon armor. Uh... The spell on dead? Probably not. Worth well, it? Maybe worth it. Should actually be at a decent power, so. Uh, I might try it. There's also some, what, two keepers here? I'll probably. Oh, I might grab the passable. I might grab the two keepers as well. I'm not sure if I'll ever cast it. Just get me some things I could potentially cast. What have we got here? Oh, just stuff. Just useless armor. Nothing actually good. I put my ancestors in a bad spot there. I should have maybe brought the creatures back uh, one more spot and then swapped. Oh, okay. I see an abyss fault. I can see a lot of draconians, which suggests that I've fallen into the entrance to Zot. I don't want javelins, I want boobregs. Uh, I can't see the actual entrance just yet, but I can see the area. Alright. I guess best that I just try and get out of this area, honestly. Yeah, there we go. This might lead to the staircase back up. At least that's the plan. There we go. There's my staircase. Uh, it's probably an okay one. I just have a little bit of fire resist, though. I don't think that made much difference to my damage. Um. Oh. How? That was actually... Okay, maybe not that staircase. Guys, maybe doing just a little bit too much fire damage. Um, I'm most tempted to put on the evasion decks. You know what? I'm going to give it a try. See how it goes. Instead of the... Fire is a so I gained oh I definitely gained some shield value there. That seemed to work. In fact, if I examine the ring, does it tell me like how much of these things I change? Yeah, so my evasion would decrease by seven if I removed it, and my shield would decrease by two. So I guess it's alright. In fact, I do have some pretty good defenses. 41 armor class, 22 evasion, and 29 uh, shield is pretty pretty good for a character. Well, just in general, but for a character in depth, that's pretty excellent. I just... Head back here. I think this is fine. Translucent longbow? Don't think so. I was just heading in. Oh, I guess I can head to the entrance is not now because there's really not anything left around it. Am I done? I am done. I'm pretty much done with this first level. That's the funny thing. I often seem to get shopped when I'm pretty much done with the level. Oh. I think I can go there. Yeah, there's... Get some of the creatures. Alright, I think that's cleared out. I should just be able to go up. 
what were these guys hiding? So, how do you teleport? Which I actually do need. Yeah, I'm all eight now. Eight, so I've been better than before. And there's vines, which I could probably grab. Why is that one 70% failure? Wait, why are all my pot level spells 70% failure? Is it because I swapped a ring around or something? It probably is. Right, I guess the strength would have helped me cast my spells. That makes sense. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, let's go to... I've done the Elven Halls. Where do I go now? I could go to... I could go to Falls 5. I think that would be fine. And then like, maybe the Slime Pits, I guess? I'd love to get that Death Tally as we go, but I'm only on 15 shapeshifting, so that's going to take a little while. All right, well... Uh, I might just go down. Oh, okay. That's a little bit better. Yeah, this guy's not. Dreadlet is not. I might actually try for a different location in here. Yeah, as this is dead, I guess. There we go, the back. Shouldn't let this guy recall. Because <laughs> there's still tons of quite lethal creatures left on this level that could be recalled in. Like that Dredlich, for example. It's funny how the armories just start with like the basic weapons and then they like, uh, give everyone else like demonic weapons and stuff. Like quite an uh, upgrade from all their sprite shows I'm holding. Ah, uh, my buff the ancestor. Uh, I was made out of piety, I'm not quite anymore, but I think I'll be fine. How good is this armor? John, it's just plus zero, though. Storm Dragon armor. Such a shame. What have we got? Regen. I've currently got a reflection. Um, It's got some sort of resist. Resist electric, resist corrosion, I think. I might just keep two. What even are my gloves? Plus zero? Okay, I'll take those ones then. Um, what do I drop? Uh, guess, no, I want to keep that god dragon armor just because it looks nice, even if I can't really use it. Right, I think I can drop the strength though. Whoops, I just picked it straight back up. There we go, two more armor class. I'm up to 43 armor class. Oh, that's... Actually, that's doing all right. It's not what I meant to throw, but it actually works pretty well. Hey, Frederick. Here's another guy that turned out he had a surprisingly high... kill ratio. Huh. He's actually doing a bit of damage to me. Though he is still fairly wounded himself. Oh. There's more guys here. Okay. Should die for the javelins, right? Right? Maybe not. There we go. And what do you have on the, the Orb of Amorality? It does channel magic, which I'm not sure if that actually is helping him out. He's also got his modding stuff. And I actually found an early modding style on this character. And it was pretty good until I got into using demon tridents. 
Well, this part of the game, I almost have enough nades and flails to use the morning, so I've got six damage actually meant to lay on one of those. But the full up scale is still higher. I'm still a little bit loot here. Oh, digging. Oh, <laughs> only one charge. Brings me on to four, though, which is not a lot because uh, there's certain like hells and stuff where it's really nice to be able to dig. And uh, Zod itself is really nice to be able to dig into the walls. There's often nice little choke points you can get from doing that. Actually, this guy's not shooting at me. It's punching me. I guess it's fine. It probably doesn't do too much damage with his punching. But if it was shooting at me, it would probably die because they got the reflection going. I guess I've got to take out the Lich is the most important one. Also, this guy's got a hand cannon, hasn't it? No, it's got an arm list. Huh. I thought I saw like a tad cannon bolt going flying there, but I guess not if that's just an obelisk. No, it's definitely just an obelisk. And none of these guys have head cannons. Then what did I see going flying there? I mean, maybe it was some dragon breath or something. I don't know. I can't even get to the items. It's funny how gnolls can, like, sniff out the items. Oh, I guess the, the like, armories don't always bring out demon weapons. Wait, that looks like the summoned ones they bring in aren't demon weapons. Uh... Oh, good thing my answer's in front. That guy just straight up turned to a shiny guy. Uh, I think I've managed to avoid the mutation so far. Yeah, look, got the minus health, but that's because I have an ancestor going. Oh, sling bullet? Hmm. Maybe a sling bullet. I guess those are kind of similar, right? Do you think there was a sling there on the ground? I mean, there is a sling there on the ground. I think you might be right. I think it was just a sling bullet. Oh well, so much enlightenment to say we don't need willpower. I mean, I guess I could use them as flight potions or something. Uh, do I just come back for the slime pits later on? I don't know. And then I can come back when I got my death tally been going when I don't take the mutations, but... It could be a very long time until I get my death tallies been going is what I'm thinking. Like, I might not get that going till, I don't know, the start of hell or something. It's got a ring of... Oh, resist negative willpower, but it's, it's wanting me because of the distortion, which is fine. Alright, next corner of the map, I suppose. I, uh, I see a blink scroll there, which is great. How many of those have I got? I've got... Oh, four blink here. I don't have a lot. I had to use one of them, unfortunately, in the snake pits, because I... I got myself surrounded by some mited up snakes. Well, Nagas, I think. And uh, I was constricted. It didn't really look like it could hit them with fear, because they had a little bit of willpower. At least it looked kind of risky, so I just used the blink to guarantee survival. I do have evocations. I could use a lightning rod. Oh, I guess I'll drop this gold dragon armor. I like the ground tambourine. That's worth getting. Oh, the bot in chat. Get out of here, bot. Uh, whoops, why is it not? Getting banned. Get banned, bot. There we go. I 
don't know. I feel like there's been a reasonable number of bots recently, but. Uh, well, at least they go with short messages so they don't like spam the chat too much. Oh, what do we go? Got a teleport. Got an requirement, but I think even a cheaper requirement elsewhere. Also, I could just buy my way into a treasure trove. Might just buy my way into a treasure trove. It's probably about worth about the same as getting the requirements, honestly. <laughs> And then I can come back for the acquirements afterwards, I guess. I need a wizardry. If, if I was a mage, wizardry is really good for gnolls. Because they have kind of lack of skill, like, almost needed to get any sort of decent spell going. But not so useful to characters just turn into a basic basher. What do they have? Kirari does, sure. Alright, well, I believe I am done with this level. A rare game where extended gold matters. Yeah, it certainly is, because this character is going to be spending gold well truly into extended, I think. Uh, Where's the chief required? I mean, it's not going to be here, because these are just things on this level. And vaults. That's not very far away. Wait, was I getting that? Wait, no, I wasn't getting that one. I was gonna... Can I buy these and still afford the... Yeah, can. Let me just go buy those. It's actually gonna go into the treasure trove. Maybe I should have waited until after the treasure trove to jump that one up. But anyway, let's... Uh, wait, I need to go buy the armor. Storm Dragon armor. There it is. Uh... Goodbye, buddy. You will be missed. Why can't I carry it? I've got a... Got myself identified. It should be that hard to find something to drop. Kind of tempted on the attraction, but I might keep it. Um... I mean, do I need the dots of the spousal cell? Might drop the Berserk, but mm, it does have sub use. Alright, let's try the treasure trove. Hopefully it's worth the money I spent on it. Oh, there's something here. There's a uh, cloak of the thief if I were to be really quiet. Oh, six slippers are super questionable. My boots are... My boots are willpower, aren't they? The Gog? How dangerous was the Gog? 10 shield, but I lose, uh, like, 7 a bit on the other things. The evasion and AC. Right. I don't need the willpower to resist corrosion or resist negative. It's not actually that worthwhile, unfortunately. Oh, gloves are 3 strength? I lose, uh, yeah, I'll put those on. I lose, like, a like, an armor class, but whatever. <laughs> plus 1 crystal plate armor. Plus, oh, plus 0 crystal plate armor? That doesn't quite work. I don't know if that was worthwhile. They already had good armor, otherwise they might have been. So... That's cold resist, I might keep that, but quiet's alright. Uh... There's somewhere in particular I want to wear those slick slippers, because I probably could. I just got another willpower on my gloves, I think. Make it doable. Oh, the crystal blade arm was so disappointing. Could have been good. Uh, I think I need the storm dragon armor. It was just a basic armor in here as well. It's always funny with this basic armor treasure trove. Nah, at least it don't look that good. I believe, like, the Slick Slippers is the one that I'm potentially thinking of going with. Plus, the Leather Armor is huge. Uh, oh, just plus zero as well, so that's funny. I mean, the Gong for a different character could have been good, or if I didn't already have a really good shield, it could have been really good. Or maybe if I didn't have as much shield skill, because I guess that's the thing, it's smaller, so defense about the same. 
And I technically would get a bit more tag delay. Uh, I don't know. Almost could go with a gog. Almost. Do I have a branch where I'm likely to get really constricted up and need those slick slippers? Oh, if I do. Um... They're like almost good. I don't know. I'll... Might draw the dust as well, so I'm just not sure if that's a good idea. I want to try the gog just for a little while. Just for a bit of fun. Let's go to... Actually, am I about to go into Crypt? I think. I really don't think using the gong is a sensible thing to do, but hey, I can use it for a little bit. I can fight for staircases for a little while. It's not a bad idea in the Crypt, though, I don't think. Oh, Cloak of the Thief gong combo is actually real? Wait, you mean like silently gonging? That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a funny combo. <laughs> oh, there's a curse girl. Uh also I've still got uh Zot, don't I? I might actually go back to my tower shield. <laughs> I don't know, it was fun for a little while, but I don't think I should stick with the gong. I don't have resist negative, which is, I guess, all right in here, although I've already got one. Hold on, maybe I shouldn't do the crit. Maybe I should just do Zot, because I might uh, I might switch away from Hepne Aquana. And if I'm going to go with the Shining one or something, which uh could do. The problem with the shiny one is uh, that they're not going to approve my demon trident, so I'd have to use like a random trident for a while until I got piety to bless my trident. Oh, this guy's kind of stuck in there. I don't know, maybe there's a way for them to get out, but... I mean, the, the electric guys can just blink out. They're kind of a step ahead of the other guys. Oh, that's okay. Still okay, despite its corrosion. Is there... I mean, I might use a digging. I've got very little digging, but... Oh, I got my answers back anyway. I probably would have been fine. Not that they live too well in here, but they can still be useful for blocking creatures. Of course, that guy's gonna tie behind me, I think. Oh, I'm good. I can put another ancestor out the front. Because uh, that's just how long that fight went on for. Long enough to spawn in a couple of ancestors. Oh, it's different time got buffed a ton. I did not see that change. Huh. Right. That's kind of an annoying spot. So I'm going to have to think about doing a Chabriados character? Hmm. I have to think about, like, whether I want to do that with this character or a different character. Wait, the bots are back already? Get out of here, bot. No longer just randomly fails to do anything in tight spaces. Right, so... I know that sometimes, like, the, the creatures wouldn't have anywhere to wander away, so you just had to fight the creatures anyway. But it was usually fairly effective before. So what does it do now if there's, like, nowhere for the creatures to go? Or do they specifically wander away from where you are or something? Hey, how'd that guy go berserk? Uh, probably fine if these will go berserk. But I'd prefer it if they didn't, so... 
because it's another moth of wrath. <laughs> well, so much for my, my answers. That just died instantly. I mean, it was about to die anyway. It was almost dead. I probably uh, move enemies away instead of letting their random movement do the work. They also can't act immediately after you use it. Right, because I know that like a turn used to pass immediately after you use the set from time because I set from time while on fire before and I burnt up once I arrived back. <laughs> Which is a little bit of a shame. We're going to try to spell this dude. Three to spell is not actually too bad. I guess it's a worthwhile way of killing those guys. Oh, I might as well max out my weapon. Yeah, there we go. Guys weren't guarding the staircases, were they? Like, no, they're not. They can just go down the staircase without having to dig my way through those walls or something. Because they're kind of not wanting to... Oh, I'm berserk. That's fine. Kind of not wanting to dig my way through those walls because I've only got three digging left. Uh, my javelins again. There we go. That's what I wanted to get rid of. Just the Moth of Wrath. I'm not too worried about the others, although actually... I might read a uh, scroll of poison and step into that. Because that will stop the little uh, little dude here from bringing out any bad clouds. Oh, that recording must have nets. Because my ancestors certainly didn't. And it ended up in a net, so it must be a reflected back one. So many, like, random items, like, there's cloaks and stuff, like, that random magic items that are qu aren't quite competitive with what, I've, with what I've already got. I don't know why I'm checking my skills, because they're just kind of doing their own thing. But it's interesting to see how the throwing is going, see if it would be possible to do, like, the throwing without going 50 runes, which I plan on going 50 runes anyway. What are those fawns? Okay. And, like, it might be. If you went for, like, four or five runes, you might be able to get the experience you needed. Maybe not. Because I'm currently sitting on 23. You don't have to get all the way up to 27 to get the throwing tile. No, I don't. I think you probably do have to do at least some amount of extended to get the tile you want as a null. That's probably another reason I don't play that many gnolls. Sometimes their titles can be hard to get. This character got really lucky and found multiple manuals that could have got me titles. Bald Beetle, alright. Uh, I want to be behind my buff dad, sister. There we go. <laughs> go that way and not taking the Malmutates. And the Malmutates are like permanent on your ancestors, so you don't have to worry about them too much or anything. I'm trying to check out my shape turning, but it's only like 16, so it's only just got to the point where you can statue form. I need that off another. How much? Quite a lot. Seven points? Yeah, that's gonna take a long time. Oh, doesn't help me no XP for a while? Does, yeah. When you abandon them, so... Uh, I don't actually need this. Oh, maybe I do need this enchant weapon. I might drop the gog. 
it does mean that you'd have a difficult time like trying to get the um shape shifting or something up to where it needs to be. Oh, I might just buff my dude. I don't know, I might just, uh, I mean, I don't need a Death Tally, but if I go with the Shining one, that's a, that's a thing that I'm thinking. And my other skills are looking pretty good. Invocations could do a little bit of work, because that's only around 20, but still. What has this book got for me? It's got Fugue of the Fallen. Oh, maybe. Let me go grab it. See if it's any good. Where is it? Oh, J. Alright. Let's see how long it lasts. See if it's... Wait, did my ancestor get the kill there? I think so, because my Fugue didn't charge up. Uh... Oh, I almost got into a into a choke point area. And the shift into the shifty thing. Yeah, this few didn't last uh, that long, did it? I don't know, it's just a with my 0 0.6 today delay and 38 damage, a few could be doing quite a lot. If it gets me up to even just like a couple of uh, slaying like it's got there. Probably worth the time to take it to put it on. Uh, and a lot of fights. At least I'm getting use out of my Dispel on Dead, so I'm kind of getting use out of some spells. Because it always feels sad when you're not, when you've got all these spellcasting skills and you never use them. I don't need that book of movement anymore, that was just for Vice, which... Didn't I find that, or did I not? Oh, I did, it was just wasn't... It's actually castable now, isn't it? No, oh, not that way. Can I Vice through my answers? or can, can't I? Yes. Of course, with the downside that I randomly shove my ancestor somewhere, but hey, happily, Aquan doesn't care. In fact, I think that even the gods that do care don't care if you vise through something. I think it got dispelled. Oh, right. I guess it can. And I'm not sure if it can or not. <laughs> Probably can. I know a lot of things can. Paul Vortex can't. Vortex can't. Some of the, like, minus things can't. Like, minus Vortex and stuff can't be dispelled. I know that. Uh, oh, hey, Overfire. I deal like the Ancestor. Where's my Silver Gems? I know Silver Gems are pretty good against Orbs of Fire. Because they do bonus damage, I do believe. Oh, my Fugue actually is fully charged up. But how long it's going to last now that I've got it charged up? I mean, through the rest of the battle, that's not too bad. Kind of just putting the fugue on there in case something else comes into view, but nothing did. Because with Draconians, yeah, there's often more, like here, there's more. Oh, it does get dispelled. Yeah, that uh, purple one shot me and it disappeared. Mulva Ghost? Okay. There's Sorcery's Ghost. They got high job for 154 damage and Fireball. Also, for quite a lot of damage. At least I got, uh, I guess I got electric resist. 
And there's also Tabat's Ghost, the Mountain Dwarf Fire Elemental, there's a Bolt of Fire, Servitor, a Bombard. Oh, that Bombard does a lot of damage. It's like a Crystal Sphere. Huh. It's probably not worth going in there with those girls. Come on, Boomerangs. <sighs> not really. You can just wait these guys' wrath out, right? Also, it's the level 5 which a magic map, but wherever that is. Oh, it's my last magic map, it's probably still worth it. So I've got... A Zod Trap and a Net Trap. Well, I'm glad I'm leaving this town later on, because those are some nasty traps right there. Yeah, good old Moth of Wrath. Oh my, oh my potions are off water pickup. Uh, are all of them? Yeah, all of them are basically. And my scrolls as well. Let me just make sure I fix everything here. The silence needs to be put back on. Because that's when I dropped all the stuff to get a treasure trove. Chart up needs to be put back on. Oh, there's a lot of guys. They're all guarding that staircase. Imagine going down that staircase. You would have been absolutely ambushed. Come on, Ancestor. Don't die on me. I'm really hard with the buffs there to keep them alive, and it did work in the end. Oh, hey, we have matching shields again. When did we get matching shields? I mean, we keep on getting matching shields. Uh, I'll let them get a little bit closer, and then we'll swap with my ancestor. Final level, let's get... I think I just get more strength, honestly. It helps with my evasion a little bit. Yeah. I don't want to really explore this area, but... I'll do. Let's go. I... Do I go with the shining one? I mean, we'll take it, take it, let's throw a little bit longer to max out, but I kind of, I think I do. Okay, what sort of, what sort of, um, weapons do we have? I mean, I could just use a flail or something. Is there a way to search for high tier weapons specifically? I feel like searching through all the junk is not a good idea, but I could just go with like a evening star. It's plus three evening star. There's what else is there? I mean a broad axe. Ah, oh, straining, of course. I could rebrand it. Plus six broad axe. What else do we have here? I mean that might be alright. 38 damage. Uh what do we have in the way of pole arms? It's probably nothing too special. As two added ones like glaze and stuff. I just need a temporary thing to... Maybe that broad axe is probably a good temporary thing to carry me through. Until I can shining one up, my weapon. Huh. Might as well just use the enchant... Wait, is it not a broad axe here? Huh? There it is. Might as well shining one up. Uh, my demon tribe when I get the chance though. There's a close one right here. Not on my demon tribe, that doesn't help. There we go, heavy, that'll do. Shiny ones and... I mean, the depths ones probably... Probably the closest one. I don't know. Either of them's fine. Hawkeye lol. Is that from throwing? It sure is. Uh, there. 
came out. Yeah, I've got the I got the throwing manual. And that was the first manual I found, so that should be the title I managed to get. Uh, okay, goodbye, Hapley Aquata. Fortunately, won't be getting experience for a while. <laughs> Not until I work off my, uh, penance. This weapon actually pretty good. 65 damage. I know it's 1.1 1 .1 attack delay. It's like 40 damage. I guess that's like half the attack delay, though. <laughs> so... Oh, this is still like a competitive weapon until I get my Trishelleral Holy Wrath up. Oh, an acquirement? Sure. They did the more requirements. Double sort of Holy Wrath. I mean, what's my dex? 27? <laughs> huh. I could just have a double sort of Holy Wrath for a while, I think. And here. I'll probably, I'll still do the Trishella, but... What is the damage on this thing? It's like 40 damage. Better attack delay. Yeah, it's compared with the damage. It doesn't cleave, but it does do like so much more because of the Holy Wrath. Oh, hey, Boris, I'll pull the brownie corner. And I imagine everything in here should be vulnerable to the Holy Wrath. Unless I'm mistaken. I mean, there's not like constructs or anything in here. There's no way an arch magic again there on the Boros. Uh, let's do the gold dragon armor. Almost maxed out now, but then I've got my shield to go afterwards, and that's going to take forever. With no assist and not a lot of reasons to use pole arm. Oh, true. I don't have to stick with the pole arms. I could use anything. I mean, I got the Polar Manual, but that so many means it's slightly higher. I could use anything. I mean, I could even use the sword. <laughs> Not that I've got, like, enough enchant weapons to charge up for the... Or I could go with the axe. Either of those are fine. Why is it just a plus five only double sword on the floor? I actually acquired this one with an acquirement scroll, because all the other stuff was useless. The rig seed for dolls. <laughs> uh, yeah, because most other characters could have just like switched across. I don't know, I could always use Sonso -so, because my dex is pretty good at the moment. Like, part of that's due to wearing a rig. I'm already hurting the guy that reflected like, the damage. That was a silly idea. That being said, I'll probably keep that rig on unless I need to swap for some resists, which mainly my resists aren't quite there. Uh I'm gonna swap the willpower evasion rig though with something else. Uh, these guys just feel so weak when you got a holy wrath already. Uh, I don't need to see invisible. Oh my god, abilities going. I can do a divine warrior if I need to. In fact, I can do all my god abilities. Oh, I should remember the divine shield is actually interesting now. Um, it's not just like more shield value. It protects you for the next few hits, like completely protects. But I can put it on just like demonstrate it. So I got this, uh, I had to add 11 shields, go down to 9, and it completely protected me from the harm for these guys. So, and it also works with orbs of destruction, so you can make orbs of destruction kind of harmless. That's still reasonably cheap, especially extended, it's basically free. I can, oh no, I probably shouldn't use the execution axe, but I can theory could. Or take it to Rochella, see what it does. I mean, it's pretty fast attacking, right? 0.6 attack delay. Damage is 13. How does the damage compare with one of these? Oh, this is damage is 15, right. But also it doesn't attack quite as fast. I kind of want to use a Trishilla, because I haven't used a Trishilla in forever. And I can. Oh, two slaying, four strands. Uh... 
Doesn't sound that special. Might drop these slick slippers though. We lost the game, down up to 17, it was on like 4 or something, that's a huge amount, oh wait, what, why did the jam auto pick up, come on jam, okay, it was shatter in 3 turns, there it goes, but at least I got it even if it shattered, I'm surprised there's an auto pick up, like that feels like there's real no harm in auto picking that one up, I think a Uniman's quite efficient. I mean, I might have a Demon Blade. I'm not sure I do, though. Uh, Got Demon Whips. <laughs> I could get a plus seven Demon Whip. No, no. A Demon Blade I can only get up to plus three because I've used all my Charm Weapon. But it's fine. I'm actually, I'm going to do the Trident. I really want to do the Trident. Right, holy Trident time. Yeah, look at that, Trishilla. I mean, it's 43 damage, but it's good attack delay. So I want to go to, I think, Pandemonium's next. Uh, Gotta be something I can drop. Come on. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't need the Double Sword now that I got the Trishilla. Don't need the Noise. Don't need the Invisibility. It's probably enough space. Let's go in. I mean, uh, any blessed demon weapon works? Yeah, I mean, basically it does. For this character. Okay, about plus three plate armor. Let's go down. down. Do I have a fog scroll? And would it work with that steam already there? I think it's got an okay chance of working. Good. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm gonna put Ruin on me. I'm gonna put on Divine Shield. Is he a pandemonium log coming along? Or whatever it's doing? Poison vaporing me. I'll take what it actually does. Lightning bolt, okay. It's always got melee the webs. That's kind of nasty. I don't think it's going to live too long with the Holy Wrath. Yeah, so that Hellion Island, I do I have a Maddie Fold or something? I don't, oh, I do. It's just not castable. 85% failure. I didn't bring wizardry or something, did I? What do I have that can actually hit those Hellions? I guess I got boomerangs. It might just have to be boomerangs. I mean, what else have I got? I don't think a Divine Shield helps with the damnation. Ooh. Let's step up any further than this, though. Yeah, that's doing alright. Um, I took out one of them, I think. Heal up again. The wrong one. Let's get rid of the one that can ball mutate. I don't want to get rid of the Reaver. That one's actually kind of nice because it filled up a little space there. Uh, health is the one that's going to blink out of there. So I should get rid of that one first. Oh, active. Uh, actually, new Divine Shield makes two added more attractive. It does. It's, uh, yeah, I had a two-handed character using a divine shield, and it was kind of nice. Um, yeah, they, they were using, like, a giant spike club or something, because they have an Oni. <laughs> oh, because shield does nothing when it's active. Right, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess not. Because I guess it, it takes the damage first, right, and then it goes onto your actual shield. But I totally could have switched to two-handed, but I don't know. I want to see how it goes with a shield, like, see if it feels okay, or whether it feels like it should totally go two-handed extended. I extended. Oh, nice, good. Oh, there's one. 
don't think I got an deportation, so I might just have to... I mean, I can probably fly or I can randomly blink across. There we go. And these guys can't do a lot. It's, uh, apart from this one. Wait, I don't, have, I don't have a lot of runes right now. What's this book? Gels, Gravats. Oh, I probably should go pick it up, right? And then go to the next level. I also don't quite get the full divine shield because I'm slightly missing in invocations, right? It's sitting on 20, which actually isn't too bad. And I think I'm still on the penance because I think the penance from Heavenly Aquata lasts a while. You just don't get XP. Well, uh, is it? Yeah, I think it's completely don't get XP for a while. <laughs> Oh, no shield makes sense, because you, yeah, because you get the shield skill for free, basically. So, and I've got a manual in it as well, so I can have slightly more. Uh, but for a lot of characters that go with the shining one, it might actually make sense just to uh, rely on a divine shield and just not have a normal shield, just have a big two-hander. I don't think I need to be on this level anymore. Oh, it's a holy level. Sure. Uh, I mean, I've already got my demonic rune, so I don't need to be on here. On penance, there's two XLs, and Abyss doesn't give much experience, so probably wear off. I don't know, will it wear off by the end of Abyss, or will I have to... I don't know. I might have to do a bit of hell or something to get it to wear off. A little bit of loot behind here. I've probably got some flight on me, right? Oh, I didn't bring flight. I mean, I've got a light of it, am I? Oh, it's going to cost me a light of it to get back out as well, maybe? We'll see. <laughs> nah, it's better to use a light of it to use, than to use a dig. I wouldn't want to get myself trapped in there though, run out of a light of it or something. That would be a bad way to end the game. Trapped because you can't fly. I don't think I've had that happen to me yet, but it's definitely something that can happen. My divine shield's not on anymore. Hey, here's a sword if I want one. I wonder what bonus has got on it. It's a plus five Udemon blade. Let's go take a look at it. 41 damage, 0.6 attack delay. That's pretty similar to my current one. 43.6 attack delay. Except my current one's got a little bit of reach to it. Okay, there should be a way out around here. Not there, though. There we go. How do I tell, like, how the progress is? I know the color, like, gives you some idea, but I really don't know how to tell how much progress the Raz has made. I wish it would just, like, kind of give you some kind of number to give you an indication of how your progress was going, but I guess not. What an angel doing here? I'm not even on the holy level anymore. I left that one. All right, next level. Huh, so that guy actually strode through my divine shield pretty fast, which is probably fine. Yeah, so are these guys. Oh, clumsy. What else does it do to me? Just clumsy, I guess it's fine. Uh... 
Wait, what does question mark slash capital G mean? Oh, to see the description or something. Huh. Wait, so it gives you... Also, it lists all the various commands, like you could do the gemmed one or something. I've done that one before. That just lists like everyone that's got all the gems. I wonder how many people have done that now. It's got to be more than before. Was this disco pad? This one's almost crashes, so I might just save and quit and go back in just in case it crashes. Oh, uh... Tilaka Cause has done it three times. Garbage Man three times. Wong three times. I've done it three times. Onision's done it three times. And Energetic Octo, Jaggly, In Cactus, Tears, WN, and Zolotl have done it. Wow, this place is so confusing. My eyes, they can't keep up. Just throw something at this dude. I just have a little friend here. I was having to do all these walls. Uh, I just cleanse these guys some more. I want to get rid of that since it's a bit open. I'm running out of magic points. There's already so much cleansing I can actually do. Alright. There we go. Now the aliens. Oh, the aliens in range, but I can't hit it anymore. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's fine. I gotta save and quit again, just in case. Because I know this level has been known to uh, crash. What gem is that for the gem thing? Or the gem thing is all, uh, all 12, no, uh, 11 of the gems. So you have to have a character that's very much dedicated to getting gems to do that one. I think I did one in the tournament. I did another one with gems with you. And I can't remember why I did the third one. I just did. Because <laughs> I felt like it. Alright, well the level didn't crash on me. So I guess that's good. And I might as well just uh, go down. And go down again. Oh, hey, Lob. Uh, I just have a potion of resistance. And a haste potion, please. Ow. I don't really want to be throwing, but I guess this is all right. They get a bit closer, I can like vise them, I suppose. That vise range. By the way, isn't it? And the Holy Wrath should do a bit of extra. Oh, so much lightning, but I've got them. There we go. I definitely needed the haste over there. And I think I needed the resistance as well. Sarah Bob could be hard as well because they don't have a lot of fire resist. Hopefully don't end up next to him. That would be bad. At least with Lobby did actually have some resistance to start with, like two resistance. Oh, an orange braided brown glob, that would be. <laughs> I mean, at least it wouldn't last long because the polar vortex would take it out after a couple of turns, but still. <laughs> That's not quite what you want to see. Well, they're actually an orange brain in there. They might have been. I think he got taken out because uh, there was a number of things that just got killed. This might be silly, but I think I can just get away with a attraction here. Yeah, I don't think that was silly. I don't know, something I could get away with. Well, the attraction is not always something you can get away with. 
Oh, I feel like that Hepnik one hasn't changed color, so I presume that means I haven't lost any, well, the significant amount of the patterns yet. Uh, let's go to the next level. Oh, hey, Galarix Flock. Let me grab this rune and get out of here. Oh, oh. Uh, if I did a belay, like a, not a, a random one, it would probably put me in a better spot. <laughs> oh, so many things in torment. I've slowed. I might just cleanse some of these guys. There we go. Teleport's gone. And I've got the rune, right? I'm pretty sure I grabbed that. Uh, dark rune? Yep, I got it. So I don't need to stick around on this level. He's usually not too bad to take out with angels, so if I meet him on another level, I might spam angels, but... But now I think I just get off this level. Wherever the way off happens to be. There we go. Oh, I might... That just fear. I don't, don't feel like fear is that useful anymore. All these things have so much willpower. I think demons are just straight up mute as well. Do you need more teleports? So that's good. What runes do I have left? I know I've got the fiery one. Oh, I must go the glowing one, right. Uh, speaking of the glowing one. I have to teleport out of here soon. Oh, it's just a whip. And a fragile, okay. This isn't actually the worst spot ever. <laughs> like, how uh, how easy is it to find choke poison here? I don't think it's very easy, so... Did he do something to me? Oh, berserk. Yeah, there it goes, triggering. I gotta reset that one. Um, Sooner the better, I think, with that one. Oh, I should have stepped out of my little corridor. That was a perfect little spot to be in. It was silly leaving. Okay, let's let's drink one of these mutations. I won't do a proper reset. I'll just... There we go. Calm down. Small pair of holes is actually a good thing. Because I've got a hat. So that was basically a perfect mutation reset. But I'll probably take some more. I was hoping I could put the Divine Moria between me and the enemy, but not quite. Oh, well, oh right. It's not a Hefnik one, right? Since there's an angel, I can't just shoot through it. Minus potions, okay. We're probably going to have to have a reset at some stage. What's up with this dude? Marked with ruinous. It's misshapen and mutilated. Okay, it's friendly and haloed, all that stuff. In fact, I'm marked with ruinous as well, aren't I? Oh, mutation push. Nice, because I'm probably going to have to reset these again. It makes up for the one I used earlier. And there we go. There's a rune. Um, do I just... Do I have a magic mapping? I don't. Okay. Well, that answers whether I use a magic mapping to get out of here or not. Oh, nice. I need a blinking. Uh, I don't think that leads anywhere. It looks like this is leading out into the wild. Um, these guys are fine. They don't mutate or anything that I need to worry about. And I've got a regen, which is definitely a nice thing to have in uh, Pandemonium. Yeah, and I'm with the Charting one, so I'm actually... No wonder Pandemonium isn't feeling too bad, because I can get my health back fairly quick. Alright, there's the way on. Let's just get out of here. Oh, there we go. Fiery Rune. I believe that's my last one. Uh, what's my best way of gaining fire resist? It's a real question here. Oh, the finest potion, of course, triggering. I've got a fire resist ring. I could take off willpower evasion. I probably don't need the willpower. Let's give it a try. I mean, I lose five evasion. Gates me up to two fire resists, which is all right. And I do have regen at least, so I can probably like teleport out and then come back and do some more fighting. Not the best because I don't have a lot of teleports, but that's still something. 
angels don't work so well here, do they? Because they tend to die. Because they get fire stomped, but they might still be able to try a few. Oh, what's that ring? Wizardry? Resist electric. Resist cold. This is the electrics of my amulet, but still. Will allow me to swap that. Wizardry's not terrible. How hard would it be to get a manifold assault going? Probably, probably not quite there, right? I doubt it. I'll smash the door? Okay. Let me go check. I don't think I've actually gained any experience this entire time. Yeah, so 85% I haven't gained any experience this entire time. Uh, so I'm still independent, sure. And that'll probably be like 40% or something with a uh, wizard rail that. What's the other resistance on that ring? Ah, whoops. Colds are not quite right for this level either. And the boss will be just on the other side of that door, so I should buff up before I go through. I guess, um... I guess I'll drink a haste and a might, maybe? I'm gonna use up all my haste, but I think some of the- oh. Some of them are worth using. My grab a tambourine. Then... Ah... Uh, I'm gonna get this guy with the javelins, although I find I actually need the javelins at the moment. You can probably do just as well with a boomerang, actually. Uh, he's fast as well. Okay. I got 150 of your health left. Um. I have a lot of grab a tambourine charges left, but I might grab them with a grab a tambourine and mirror them up. Oh, did that not work? Maybe not. Oh, there he is. Good. Can I get him? I don't think I got a root slow, which is always nice with the mirror. I can try the stack of spiders, but it's unlikely to work. Oh, hey, look, it did get him in a web. Uh, kind of a mess of creatures everywhere here right now. Oh, I might get rid of some of these ones as well. Oh, no, I've got to get out of here. Ooh, that's actually bad. Can I drink a healing potion? There we go. Well, there was only a whole bunch of dudes that could do damnation in there. And I did not want to be hit by damnation when I was already a bit wounded. Alright, let's try this again. I got my health back. Gotta try a couple of angels, see if I can make this work. But they'll probably get taken out by a firestorm. At least they might be able to do like a little bit of uh, smiting or something. <sighs> Starts with the first one. Okay. Oh, what on earth is Manus doing here? Ah, oh, come on, Jellybot. That's. Oh. I got to do another teleport. Oh, my health. I gotta drink a healing potion, I think. Yeah, I think so. Maybe another one, even. Man, that was bad timing, Manus. You're meant to help me fight evil, not... Be evil. Is this Trishella really good? I mean, it doesn't matter. Mine's better. And I'm no longer in penance, I think, but... What do I do here? Is there some way I can steal this rune? I don't think so, because these are metal walls. Um, 
What do I have that can do damage? I want to hit these little guys. I want to hit the actual big guy here. Divine Shield's protecting me in melee, at least. As long as he keeps on doing melee. Wait, did he get confused? Oh, he's blind because of my Divine Shield. I'll keep nice and topped up. Doesn't help with the fire storms, unfortunately, but it helps with the rest of the stuff. Hey, there we go. Yeah, getting him into melee range usually is a really bad strategy, but when you've got a divine shield on, he just can't get through it. Oh, what's this? Ranged? I mean, sure. It's not going to max out first. Might as well. I uh, got Swamp Dragon. Man, I could probably put manuals, but manuals back on auto pickup if I wanted to. Because it's not really going to have any effect. Um... I think I know the way off this level already. Although, that's my last pandemonium rune, isn't it? So I just need to explore till I find like a way to the abyss. That wasn't the way to the abyss, right? No, it wasn't. And I think the rest of this level should be fine. I've kept my fire resist on, which definitely makes it a lot easier. I can just kind of tab through them with my fire resist on at least. Oh, I always thought there'd be a the best entrance there with the Kiku altar, but nope. But there is a wait, the the actual fault that has an abyss entrance doesn't work properly, I don't think. At least last I checked. I, I need to figure out what that, uh, like, uh, bolt is called. Because <laughs> there's one that, when you take the entrance to the abyss and the exit of the abyss, it should put you back in the dungeon or depths or wherever you started. But there's one from a vault that doesn't. Oh, I might leave. I mean, I could probably kill him. Hey, look, there's the exit. So... you know, just a little bad. I might just go to the side pit to make them worse. <laughs> I don't think these guys can confuse me. Let me double check. I think I took off some whooper. Did I not? Maybe I didn't. Okay. Let's go and find. Cleansing play is pretty good. It does lower my party, but once I go back to hell, uh, or to hell, it should go straight back up. What's my strategy, though, for killing these guys? Do I just, like, try, like, the Royal Jelly? I mean, if I can find a good corridor, I might be able to emulate it. Uh, should have really switched that game, so there was no point. It would take me to an unexplored spot, so it isn't as good as what I was on. Also, I have a heavy broad egg somewhere. And I'm good with it. Uh, where is it? Just search for broad eggs or something. Because that might as well have some cleaving. It's not like the Holy Wrath is doing anything for me. Alright, go back to... Whatever level I was on. Level 3. The slime pits. Yeah, that seems better. I mean, it's slower attacking, but I still think it makes more sense to be cleaving things in here. Right, Raw Jelly, where are you hiding out? Although I've also found the... Uh, like, the cleansing, the cleansing Flame could work quite well at taking out the Raw Jelly. I've done that before. It's not perfect, but it can uh, get rid of some of the little slime creatures. Oh, whoops, I was next to the guy anyway, but I think it was going for my angels, thankfully. So I wasn't taking any extra mole mutates or anything. 
I cut out the open. Oh, I might actually just made you'll see how that works. Got a javelin. I could probably just take it out. There we go. Now I can go grab stuff. So that actually worked really well. Um, we don't care about the stuff. Don't care about the brand weapon. I do want this. I might as well grab the jam. It's about to break, but hey. Might as well have it before it breaks. Okay. I got the resist electric resist corrosion amulet. Huh. What was this amulet again? Resist cold, which isn't that special. Also, there's boots of strength. My boots are willpower. I feel like I need the rampaging. I'll try these on to see how my willpower looks, but I'll probably end up swapping the bag. Actually, it's still in three, which is not the worst thing ever. Yeah, I can take the evocations. I don't think I would have had in the bag, because that would berserk me up. Um. Oh, yeah, this is my gem breaking, I think. That little flash. Resist the electric, resist negative index is maybe okay. But it might be able to get me some evasion. It's kind of like this one in a way. I might drop that little bit of strength one. Anyway, let's get out of here. So let's go to Lair, I guess. Just out of here. Check my mutations. Wait, why don't I know how to get to Lair? Huh? Oh, what's that scroll? Is that just amnesia? Probably fine. If I leave that one. Alright, how are the mutations? I still got the minus potions. I kind of like the horns, but I think I'll still reset these and hope for something better. Uh, got clarity and I'm resistant to mutations. I mean, I'll take that. Sure. Let's just go to... Do I... Oh, go back to my Trishilla. Although, a cleaving thing is not bad at the entrance to hell, but I think Holy Wrath is pretty good as well. That's being noisy. You can basically do this the silent way or the noisy way. And I'm going to do it the noisy way. Where you're just collecting flame everyone. And then a bunch of guys come along. Then you're collecting flame those ones. And a bunch more come along. And you just keep on repeating till there's nothing left. Alright, I need my... Magic points back. How many runes are we at? I think nine, right? Oh, because I haven't done the abyss yet. I'll do that after hell, because I've already reset my mutations. And that does have a chance of giving you the quark six and stuff. But yeah, doing, doing pretty well with the runes. Still got hell to go, but I feel fairly confident that my ability is to do hell. Uh, actually, I should just fully explore this level. And then maybe swap around some rings, depending which one I want to do. Did you go through the head penance? Yeah, that finished uh, the basically end of Pandemonium, I think, just before. So it wasn't too bad. I'll put on Divine Shield. It'll stop this guy doing much for a little while. Blind it as well. But, I don't know. Head penance isn't too bad. It does mean these skills are a little bit behind, but I still think I'll get my throwing title. No problems. And Pandemonium is not worth a lot of experience. Apparently about two levels worth of experience is how much it's worth. Uh, it's two levels little. Uh, I mean, it'll be an absolutely terrible thing to do earlier on in the game, but... It's not too bad uh, when, once you're going into hells, I think. But yeah, um, I wouldn't do it like early in the game or something. Do I want to be Tartarus? If I go into being Tartarus, I'll put the willpower back on because they don't need the fire resist. Um, 
But my main reason... Oh, uh, can I get out of here? No. That's actually not good. I maybe should have thought about uh, getting rid of that. Oh, put it on divine shield. I think get, trying to get out of there was a bad idea because I didn't have time to get out of here. Actually, this is not the best help for this character, but I think I'm still going to go with it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I should get back on my staircase. Yeah, to get slowed by all that stuff. Um... Bow pestilence. And these are the things that I get health back when I kill them, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Keeps me nice and healthy. Oh, you died on a pretty strong uh, vine stalk here. Oh, that's a shame. Alternative is kind of hard. It sometimes is. Sometimes hard. It depends on the character. The silence can definitely mess you up. It's very variable in how tough it is. Man, what was your Vine Stalker doing? Oh. Vine Stalkers are kind of weird. Like, I feel like some of my toughest characters and some of my weakest characters have both been Vine Stalkers. Oh, I should get out of the Angel. I'm marked right now. And it really depends. Like, if I had to do the uh, with really fast, like quick blades and stuff, that so we're just absolutely slaughtering. Uh, and if animals also just didn't feel like they were getting going, because I guess they rely quite heavily on their bite, and that requires a fast weapon. I don't know. They're they're definitely the most variable. Like some of my toughest characters have definitely been vine stalkers. Whoops! I threw the weight of the minus uh willpower thing, and of course that's not gonna work. Oh wow, it's get to go down. Are you running a fighter with Sif Mana spamming Dragon School? It was OP actually? Wow, okay. I hope I've done a lot of fighter ones, but I mean, I don't think that spamming Dragon School is going to be fun. I should get rid of this guy. Uh, I should get rid of the Zitsa Middle as well. Oh, you had a quick blade with electric fusion as well for when you wanted to get into melee. And I guess, although with Sith Mana, you would need to get into melee quite as much. I'll bring out a couple of angels because there's a guy here that can paralyze me and I want to be able to finish off creatures when I'm paralyzed, basically. Uh, where's my boomerangs? Oh! Ah, Zot Trap, I see. Shadow Magic was very useful for the Vine Stalker because it's effectively more health. I guess. No, it does sound useful. I don't like the look of this. Can I just... Random blank? Ah... Uh... Petrifying me. I just cleansing flame and an angel. Yeah, you know, the angel to distract those guys long enough for me to come back to the world of people that can take actions. I learned the hard way that poison does not go through the... Yeah, the poison directly does the health. It doesn't go through, like, the uh, the divine shield, the spirit shield, does it? So, you kind of... I've definitely had a lot of vine stalkers die that way. Like, you know, early some enemy comes along, like an adder with poison. Get lethally poisoned, don't have a curing potion. It's, um... I wonder if there's a... Oh, there's probably a way you could query that, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, 
So I know there's like where you can check like the statuses you died with. You probably just check characters and die lethal poison, although it doesn't necessarily mean they died to the lethal poison. They died with it. I don't know how the uh Can I just say something like Can I just say something like killer equals poison? I doubt that works, right? No, it doesn't work. There's there's gotta be some way, I just don't know what it is. Uh which one of these is the boss chambers? Oh, it's this one. I feel like Tartarus, you really do need to recognize the boss chambers unless you want to do all those places. Give me a couple of angels, because I'm going to need them anyway for the boss fight. Uh, when I say a couple, I mean this many. <laughs> all the angels. Oh, uh, it's this middle. I feel like a little wounded. Oh, it's another it's this middle. Boss also torments as well. Can I just get out of that silence for a little while? Nope, I guess I'm into the silence. I got the angels around her. She dies so quickly with the angels around her. But the only problem is when she silences up when you haven't yet got your army out or when there's too many tizzards and metals around or something. Oh, that's how you do it. K-type equals poison. So I've died like 85 times to poison. Oh, one of those conglins. I was trying so hard for those conglins in the headmaster challenge. They just died. Red bags, poison, lair two. Oh, spider nest entry, webs, vault, right. Huh. Anyway, I think I can get out of this hell. Right, I've got the bone rune. I can go to... Go to the Iron City of Dust. Do I do the fiery one? Gotta swap around a few things, but I guess I do. Is that my best fire resist? I guess so. Alright. That's not that one. Ah! Don't put me under penance. That's clearly the wrong spell. What even is that? Oh, fugue, right, right, no wonder that would put me under penance. Yeah, the Shining One's not gonna, um, uh, approve of me casting fugue with the Fallen. It's a necromancy thing after all. Oh, dropped a level? That's a good thing, though, I think. In fact, it pretty much gives me another free way down as well. Which I might go take, okay. Now this little guy can just hit. Almost feel like doing an attraction, but I think I'm actually I think I might do an attraction. I just saw this guy here with his torment, and I want that one with enrage. Ooh. That's a bit of torment. This guy's gonna get up to me pretty quick though, because I got the attraction gone. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I feel like though I used the attraction just enough to like ca justify carrying them around. They probably used them more in extended as well than outside of extended. Oh, very random, but you just learned that uh, Ocarina of Time had three versions. And in one of them, they had to revert the Fire Temple theme song because they unknowingly put the Quran in it. <laughs> what? How do you like unknowingly? I guess you could just happen to like lock into the <laughs> right series of notes, but. That is, in fact, a strange fact that I was not expecting. Uh, I mean, music's actually somewhat like that to an extent. Like, there's only so many different things that actually sound good. So you can often just lock into something that sounds like a copy of someone else's song or whatever. But, wow. The more you know, yeah. 
<laughs> it was not a not a novel reason to have to like rework a game or something. I don't think I can find charge this guy just yet. There we go. Oh, another one. But that set off the oh, wood set off the alarm trap. Uh, I could just throw a boomerang. It doesn't do... Oh, that's just decent, but... Because my throwing must almost be maxed out. Yeah, 26.6. Only 0.4 more of a skill, and I should be getting the title that I'm desperately after. You know, that's all I do use my Divine Shield. It seems so silly. But I guess the Divine Shield doesn't care how much damage you take. It just check, uh, cares that you take attacks. Oh, that does a bit of damage. I'll put, put on a shield. Uh, I need to get up quickly. Now I need to get away. Because <laughs> there's a guy behind the bars there that can do damnation. I think it's got the... Sorry, I, I don't need to worry too much about the paralysis here. I don't think it can. Oh, 40%. Oh, apparently I'm not wearing my willpower right now. I guess that's fine. Yeah, I mean, there's that guy stuck in there. I don't need to worry about it. I can just go downstairs. Uh... <laughs> Throwing. So this one's kind of uh, better at throwing than me. I mean, it's not throwing, it's hurling damnation. Alright, I've got plenty of haste potions saved up, right? I've got seven of those. So I should be able to taste up against the boss of this level. He says the plan because you can't teleport out. He does summon, I think, the guys that do damnation. Oh, another guy. I think those guys going to theory strip my fire resist by one, and I've already got two to start with, but. I'm not too worried about them. Ah, shrapping me with the lava, but I guess that's fine. Alright, how do I tell which one of these is the areas is the boss gems? I mean, I guess I don't have to worry about that just now, because I still got a bit to go before I get to the boss gems. Also, I realized that this divine shield is probably more useful to a character with manifold assault, because you tend to take less attacks with a character with manifold assault. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's more useful to character that actually has to use the melee and take the attacks. It seems to not last anywhere near as long. Uh, it's just a loot room, I see. Alright, well, there's a 50% chance the boss is down the end of this corridor, but I mean, the end of this corridor is a long way away, so I don't need to buff just yet. Oh, I should definitely cleansing flame a couple of times. Take both those guys out at once, I think, but my weapon can't hit multiple people. Where's that guy? I don't want to leave it like lying around because if I had to retreat back, I want to bump into it. Uh, I don't see the boss yet. Yeah, it's just a loot room. The boss on the other side. So we've got long blades? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, yeah, the throwing's maxed out. I'm a null baluster, so I've got the title anyway. Uh, Did I put the manuals back in auto pickup? Oh, apparently not. 
I don't know how they ended up. Uh, I don't know. How do you estimate how many cleansing flames you can spam without losing too much piety? Uh, in hell, just don't worry about it too much. Just whatever it looks like it would be worth your action. But outside of hell, um... That's, like, reasonably cheap, but I'm not that good at estimating, like, how many I can spam. Um... Yeah, outside of hell, I tend to just spam it in situations where it looks like it would be, like, really useful. Whereas inside of hell, it's just like, is it better than not sp using it? Really? Well, this character's actually not quite maxed with their piety. It's unusual. Uh... As many as you wanted CSO and extended, basically, yup. Yeah, because TSO, I mean, you get the bonus, uh, piety for fighting demons. Oh, how's that manifold assault going? Again, I misspelled it. And also, oh, actually, that's maybe usable. I mean, not in here, but when I put on that ring of wizardry cold resist, I could become a manifold spammer. Uh... Oh, because, uh... Oh, because you kill evil things? Yep, that's, uh, that gives you so much piety. And also, the Chinese with piety, and I think the other good gods, whoops, I need my haste, are slightly different in that... It's not the creature's toughness relative to you that matters, it's just the creature's toughness that matters. So if you're killing tough creatures, like you will at Extended, then your piety gain is, like, way up. I need a divine shield because this guy's gonna hit me in melee. There we go, it's blinded. I love blinding it. The divine shield's so good against bosses, it's kinda crazy. It's like blinding them and stopping them doing damage in melee. Or I guess with rage weapons as well if you're fighting Nezos or something. Do I actually have something to buy it? Two requirements, right? Uh I no longer need the book of the warp. Oh maybe actually. Actually, I maybe could buy that. Oh, the Jada, but I don't need the Jada weapon. I should go buy all my stuff on my shopping list. Double check that got the rune. I did get it. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's actually go back and look at that warp again. Do I have to spell someone here? Oh, I do. Okay, I don't need the book of the warp. In that case. It was no challenge yet. Not with the haste on, he just died. Fell over dead. I mean, I'm, I had a holy wrath, and I think he's vulnerable to that, so. Eh, uh, I might as well grab everything. I don't need a basic ring of decks. That's disappointing. I don't need a basic star verse. I'm pretty sure I got some better ones somewhere. Right, what is my boots right now? Strength. That's my, why my willpower's down a bit. Uh, do I have like another amulet? It doesn't really matter. If I find another amulet that's good, I could probably go buy it. Oh, yep, do, do go through there. Why am I Revelations Teleport? I might grab Fog, although I think I'm good on those. I haven't been using too many. It's a ring of resist electric. I've got the animal stuff for resist electric. I don't need the broad X of electrocution. I don't need the poison resist to the resist electric ring. Resist electric and see if it's more comfort and shining, but I'll just grab the money, I guess. That was disappointing. I don't really need the money anymore. Anyway, there's a chant armor. That's worth grabbing. There's also a haste of mind and stuff, which I can probably come back for as well. So I've always got something to enchant with my armor. Yeah, I mean, I've still got the shield after the gold dragon armor. Uh... Ace magic might oh lightman whatever I'll grab it. I've got money and oh javelins sure probably good on javelins but I'll just make sure of it so I've got I've got tomb to go to where else do I have Cosidus Iron City of Durs oh the best still I might go visit the tomb. Uh, 
Uh, first level two is usually not too bad. It's the other levels that get a bit crazy, but I'm with the shining one. And I'm pretty sure I got lignification 13 of that, 7 attraction. All right, come on, we're off the slow. It's probably stacked up multiple curses from multiple guys that I was fighting and stacked up their duration or something. Uh, is it worth grabbing a Gog? Ooh. I think a little bit of fog might be a good idea in here. Try pull them in a little bit close so I can get them with the cleansing flame. Oh, hey, Boris. Who ow. I got my divine shield on, so he can't kill me with all the destruction, but I might still just get a little bit of health back with a healing potion. Yeah, he's still got his bolt of cold, which he got some resistance to. On top of my shield, oh, there's another dude here. Can I just get some more fog going? Yeah, okay. I, he can't kill me with his um, iron shot. I think only his bolt of cold and his uh, other one. Oh, his other one won't work because he's in fog. I think only his bolt of cold could actually work there. Um... Oh, he's like a true cockroach. He's back again. Yup. He sure is like a true cockroach. Well, see if we, I meet him again on the old run, because I might. <laughs> it's always funny when he comes along in the old run just to say hello. Oh, that's not the right one. I don't want to fight a little one. I want to throw out the actual threat here. The one with torment would be nice. He didn't even have a good rope that time around. It was like minus teleport or something. Uh, I can't break over the walls and do it that way, so I'm gonna have to do the going down method, but that should be fine for this character. Alright, where's my staircase? I've already got the one staircase, of course. I tried to check how many people have died to an uh, orb of Boris. Ten people have died. Did, did uh, or Boris get like particle face on his longest streak? Wasn't that a thing? I'm pretty sure that was a thing. Who's it managed to get? No, it doesn't say it killed particle face. I thought it got him on his longest streak. Oh, that's on the oh, that's specifically on the orb run. Oh, that's actually huge. Oh, okay. I thought that was like a general, but no, if that's just specifically on the old run, that's actually huge. I want to try Gog. Because noise, I, noise is actually good. I want to try things. Um, I got the fire resist on this, silly. I know I can emulate people, but still. Uh, silence, I don't think it's going to be useful. I didn't expect that from him. Yeah, it was, uh... I should actually check, like, in general, who's been... Who's been killed the most by Boris, and it probably would, uh... I don't know, Mike's show particle face, because he's pretty... He's played a lot of games. No, but there's uh, lots of people. Oh, QW, right, the bot. Of course. Uh... No, it looks like it's not a common way for him to die or something. Wow, some of these people have died so many times to Boris. How do you die, like, 300 times to Boris? Like, you must be pretty good at the game if you're, like, regularly meeting Boris, right? 
It's some of these people are not, like on the top playing boards or something. I don't know. Anyway, what's my shield value? It's 33. Actually, I can just check by looking at the GOG. It's less block value, so I'm not sure about this. Uh, Increase my shield. I'm going to try it, but I'm not sure about the... Um, yeah, not sure about this. I'll just give it a go. So, I want to haste before I go down. Start the attraction. Oh, it's Boris again. <laughs> Fancy meeting him here. I was not doing too badly. I mean, I'm definitely cleansing these guys. I just got to be very careful that I'm still in a tree form, but I'm kind of killing the right sort of guys. Also, did I just lose my traction? Now, oh, I'll drink another one. I've got enough. Not like there's really many other uses outside of here. I mean, there's a few uses in hell, I guess. What do you have as a rope this time? Poison resist? That doesn't help him. He's a ledge. Oh, damn cleansing the, the place. Yeah, definitely uh, a lot of cleansing going on here. No, this is this is probably one of the easiest strategies of getting through tomb is just cleansing flame as a tree. With a gong for extra noise, why not? This may attract some more creatures. So I need to end up on the other side of this level. I've only got eight teleports. Oh, first try. Okay. Well, fancy that. Oh, these don't look too bad. It's just little scarabs. I should probably cleanse them, though. That would get rid of all of them. Actually, I'll put my Divine Shield just in case that guy wants to hit me with too many Iron Shots, make them completely useless against me. Oh, that's not traps, so it's kind of the hard to read them collecting there. Oh, this place your nightmare? It, with the wrong characters, this place is just impossible. Well, with the right characters, it's not too bad. What do I want to do when I go down here? I want to... I want to read a haste. I got to try and teleport myself to the center, see if I can do that. Okay, let's start the attraction going. Must be about to teleport. Come on. That's close to the center. Close enough? Or... That's close enough. Now I can lignify. I kind of got a few traps in view, which is a bit of a shame, but... I still tried to go am. I guess the creatures are bumping into each other, making it kind of hard for me to attract them all. Okay. I'm heavily contaminated from that Zot trap, which is a bit of a shame. Um, no longer trying to write. I still want a tree. I just kill this. I should start the attraction again. Oh man, another dude still on that trap. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, so I take, I think I just took a mutate right then. <laughs> As I've got mutation potions to reset after this, so it's just a little bit of a shame. Uh, that's the lignification words off right now. I'll put it back on. <laughs> Alright, I presume that if uh, if that everything has come along, there can't be much more left on this level because they would have been attracted by the gong. In fact, I should swap back to my normal shield now. Uh, Yeah, I do keep covering myself. Uh, 
Oh, I should have just had that guy again. It probably would have stopped to go in the trap, though. Oh, TSO just OP for extended. They're gonna be the best melee god, at least out there with the best melee gods for extended. They're definitely my favorite um, extended melee god, and they do work to some extent with casters, because you get the health and magic back on um, Kel. And the Shining Aura can be useful, but most spells don't really care about the accuracy that much. I guess it reveals invisible things. It does work with some summons, but not the summon horrible things, unfortunately, because that's evil. And the Shining One doesn't approve of you casting it or something. I don't think I needed the extra willpower, did I? No, I didn't really. It's fire? No, I don't think so. I need to see invisible. Oh, the boots, those are my ones, right? Yeah, those are my ones. Sprint, Wolfhound, Fire, no, I don't think so. Alright, well, I'm done with the, done with the tomb. Oh, you have one extended win? That was an Octopode Shift or a Wujin. That's always a good combination. Like, once an Octopode gets a decent form going, they can get really powerful, especially if they have, like, Manifold Salt to go with it. That can always be pretty fun. Um, I've... Definitely join the octopus once they get going, but before they get going, they can be definitely be a bit much. I think my win rate with the Mally Octopus is quite low. Oh, and uh, one Gargoyle Monk of Nemelix and died in Tomb. Oh, with 14 runes. Man, I mean, that got pretty close. Was I going to put this on? Did that leave me short of willpower? Oh, I might... Oh, I needed those willpower boots after all. Sure. I mean, you don't know how to get there. Did I? Oh, I took a whole... Oh, I actually don't know how to get there, do I? Do I do the mummies in the walls? Is this a bad idea? Um... That seems kind of silly. What do you mean? Oh, it's an up staircase. I guess I'll do it. I've still got lignification. Oh. My health is still okay. Maybe coming back for this place was not the best idea. I could have done the teleport again. I should have just brought it with me. Wait, they should have spell energy to too? What do you mean? Like once you, uh... I gotta kill out some of these summons if I wanna kill anything here. I really shouldn't have left my boots on, that was so silly of me. But I thought I didn't need them, but then I looked at my willpower, because Cosinus will totally, um... What does it do? It just petrifies you if you don't have the willpower. Let's bring this one around the corner. Also, I need to check my Malmutates. I got Frail. I still got the Clarity of Mind. I got Minus Potions. Um, That probably is still... Oh, whoops. I fell into the trap. Probably is still worth resetting at some stage. Uh... Oh, they should add the spelling energy. Oh, right, to counter lignification. No, that probably that would make it a lot tougher. Um, because you can't like death bomb with the shining one. And I have done it before without lignification, but it's always like so much tougher. It doesn't really seem worth it unless I guess you're forced to. I don't know, that's kind of the mummy's main weakness. They don't know what to do when you lignify yourself. Oh, don't shoot that one. That's the worst one to shoot.
<laughs> Yet another mummy that I didn't need to fight because I, I left my item. This is fine, though. Oh, but also it turned down the traps. I mean, the traps are kind of ridiculous sometimes. It's like, just putting Zot traps everywhere. It's impossible to actually, like, avoid them sometimes. Well, a lot of the time. Um, I mean, it's obviously a better place, but there I could have avoided that trap, right? I should also remember that I've got, like, Vi's electric charge. To get through all these summons. Kind of funny how it puts me next to the creatures, even though I'm using a pole up, it doesn't stop me like a little bit further away. All right, I finally take uh take the actual official path down and grab my boots back. Uh, I don't want to leave my gog in here. I just the gog is just so fun. I probably won't use it again. Um, I don't think the vulnerability is going to be used again. All right. Uh. Nope. And now I should have everything I need. So I got good call with this. Oh, how's that manifold assault looking? 12%? It'll probably give me minus move, but I kind of want to give it a try. See how it goes. And not on that guy, because it's just on its own. Oh yeah, it totally does give me minus move all the time. I don't know if that's worthwhile or not. We'll see. Suppose it's a little bit more castable, like, sure. But it's actually good at taking out those um guys, I guess. All right, next level. What have we got? I mean, simulacrums are fine. I'm using my divine shield, though, that's probably fine. They're good because when I kill them, I get like health and magic bags, so they don't really cost a lot having them there. Oh, by the way, what changed with TSO with the divine shield uh, blinds people? Yeah, so now instead of increasing your shield value, it gives you like 12 charges of shield. At next 12 times someone hits you either with a ranged attack or... Um... Or a melee attack. It goes and reflects back their attack. Well, the, no, it reflects back some ranged ones. It blinds them with the melee ones. It's, I don't think it always blinds. Why the mummy goddess with slay tree? Oh, the oh, their as the brands of their tags. Oh, that'd be such a troll thing to do. Like these guys should you can see they bring down my shield when they throw ice at me and it reflects it back at them, which is really nice. Uh I might get a little bit of fog going. And they should just die to their own reflected back attacks, basically. As long as I keep the divine shield up. But I can't really keep it up because I'm running out of magic points. Oh, I finished a manual of shields at uh, 26.6. Man, the polyp's about to max out as well. I wasn't expecting to finish a manual. The manual that's not a normal thing to do as a novel. I guess I got a reason to be early. I guess the ones you do get like super early on will finish off. Although, why is going bad because of you? <laughs> don't need the tomb tougher, do we? I mean, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I'm happy with shiny ones at least be able to do the tomb. Now, I'll put on my shield again. Uh... I'm marked, am I? Uh huh.
That's probably not a big problem because the attack levels are so small that um, there's also nothing I can do about the mark, right? So I don't think there's anything I'd change how I play. I mean, it might be able to dig into a wall, but it's kind of hard to dig into a wall when you can't fly. Because look at that. I mean, I guess I could dig into that wall or something, but... I want to do a fog again. Because at least that way, like, to be able to see something, they had to be able to make cleansing flame range. And I kind of like that. Well, until the fog just fades away, I guess. Uh, can I get the moth fog out or something? It's not stopping this guy, which is what I'm trying to stop, but oh well. Oh. I like it paralyzed. Oh, short duration one. Okay, that's fine. It was the way to go. I was, I was worried there for a second, but I think I'm fine. Um, How do I get this guy closer? Or do I, can I find it? Is that deep water? It's deep, isn't it? Oh, flame wavers, free fog. I almost do need to do the flame wavers, like free fog. Um, how drink a potion of attraction? Wow, my party's actually gone down. I might just step. No, I can't step forwards. I can step here though. Huh? This staircase being covered. Uh. I want this guy to do that little short duration powerless on me. I might get rid of it. And that guy's not going to run away because it thinks it can hit me with the um, petrophile, though I don't think it can because I would have enough willpower it couldn't. Alright, next level. Hey, I could dig into the wall here. I might just stand next to this wall case I need to dig in. Oh, so that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do the... I meant to do a manifold assault a couple of times. Why is it like a little undead ball in the middle of here? I guess that's fine anyway. Let me dig this time round. Because this one's actually letting me get into the wall, which is crazy. Uh... And I've got digging left, I might as well use it. There's no point in saving it up. It's not going to do anything saved up. Oh, do I have beckoning? Oh, good point. I do have less than beckoning, don't I? The spell that I always forget about because it's generally not useful. Then sometimes it is a little useful. Let me try and, like, beckon this guy. Yeah, get in here, guy. Uh... Well, I feel like this new divine shield has made me go through divine, uh, shining my piety uh, faster than I ever did before, because I was down to four points of piety there for a little while. Uh, I might have been able to beckon that guy or something. That was fine. Oh, I recognize this ending. Um, this is one of the endings where it splits into two and there's an ambush on either side, basically, that just constantly swarms creatures until you get through all of them. That's not too bad. Could cleanse these, I don't need... Oh, I do. Actually, there's another one. Get another tough guy coming along. I need to get rid of those as quickly as I can, basically. I should look at my spells again. So, God, I know I've got the vines. I've got the manifold sword. It's not that useful because it takes too much magic for the character. Spells could be useful. I guess the manifold sword is useful in things like this. We can just go treat back pretty quick. Um... So like having thought about it, I did make a lot of noise there, which is actually not a bad thing, bringing all those guys out, but then I get to pull them back.
Okay. Actually, no manifold is not working too bad here. Also, I should pull the divine shield. There's another one of those shrikes coming along. Uh, can I have a little bit of fog? There we go. A little bit of cover. Man, I feel like Fog's mainly about avoiding torment and, like, throughout the entire game. So you don't tend to use it that much in a three-rune game. I mean, it's not always about avoiding torment. You do sometimes use it in a three-rune game against archers or whatever. Because it's uh, kind of like an attraction, except without the risk and, and stuff for some characters. I mean, it doesn't quite work for, like, part pull things in and spam cleansing flame or something. But it does most of the things you want to do with an attraction. What's the chance this guy struck my willpower? It actually has to hit me, right? Right, it's one of one of its out of its two heads that it has to hit me with, and if it wants to strip my willpower, which has to get through my shield and evade and on armor class, I think. I don't think it strips your willpower if it doesn't get through armor. I'm not actually 100 percent sure on that. Has anyone done extended with Zob? I think I have. Let me check. Uh, I think it was a genie even. I think I've only done it once. Let me go quickly check on that. Oh, why twice? Oh, because I have my Chaos Dwarf as well. Um, That went through extended with Zom. Huh. I totally forgot about that Chaos Dwarf. Yeah, that one was, someone redeemed that one. That was a pretty cool character. <laughs> That was back when I think mountain draws were actually new. I wonder how many, like, in total games there are that people have done extended with Zom. I mean, this only takes that they've won with Zom, which in theory they could swap later out. I know I didn't with mine. Uh, I mean, that one started as a Chaos Knight, right? So they started with Zom. Oh, apparently 478 extended games have ended with Zom. I feel like Zom isn't actually that uncommon a character. People just kind of play them because they can't. That's kind of the, the whole reason. I think dude even get to me? I don't think so. But they can't swim. It's kind of stuck on the other side. That water. Not like it's swim either, so we're just kind of stuck on opposite sides from each other. You know, this boss might not be too bad in melee with a divine shield. Oh, it's godless of war. What were my gloves again? Uh, let's see. Mine are willpower and strength. I think I can go as a godless of war. What am I carrying around? I must be carrying around some junk. Oh, the brilliance is actually useful now. Um... Fire isn't. And probably my old gloves aren't either. Anyway, so I gained, an I gained two armor gloves. I lose three strength. Gained five slaying. I lose a willpower. I think that's fine. The willpower is still maxed. Uh, 50 damage. Yeah, that's a big help. Also, oh, bloodlust. Uh, it's like six slaying, but it's a uh, random range. I don't think I will with this character. But it could work for... I think I usually use it on archers, actually. Because they don't care. Oh, whoops. I already have my divine shield. Because they don't care about the random rage because they're not doing melee attacks. Wait, that was the wrong side. What the, that was the wrong... Uh, yeah, it was the wrong side. What are we doing? That was just the loot side. I need to go to the other side.
Uh, which should see Antaeus on the side because they didn't see him on the last one. But he usually has a bunch of ice fiends around him, which is what makes him tough. Oh, that maybe not today. Today he's just blind and wandering randomly. That's what I loved out the uh, the polar when he's blind and wandering randomly. Because <laughs> then if he wants his way, I can still stab him. Man, the divine shield is feel like cheating against them. He can't do anything in melee. I should have taken those items, but yeah, that was hilarious. Oh man, it was stars. Okay, sure. Oh, I'll take out me. Oh. 22 people would meet one mark as a 15 rune game? Sticking with Zob? Man, that's crazy. I don't think I could do that. At least not without a lot of tries. Okay, I've got the Abyss the Iron Suit does. How are my mutations? They're actually kind of bad right now. So I think I might go to the Abyss. They got the whole frail and stuff. Uh, Careful, Lagonu Altar. That would also make the shiny one bad if I switched to Legato, because uh, Legato's evil, I think. Uh, it's one way down, but that's fine. <laughs> I haven't been wandering for very long. It's usually fairly quick to find a way down. And if you kill enough creatures, you always get a weight down. Uh, although I think it might be random between a weight out and a weight down. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That actually is a lot of stuff. Oh, Jake, how many people have done the feel of Chaos Knights and Zomb? Seven people. Man, I wonder if the Energetic Octo got any of those, because they did lots of three rune feel of Chaos Knights. But they had a massive streak of them, which was absolutely crazy. I don't know if they ever did any 15 rune ones, though. Maybe. They might be one of the seven people. Let's see. That's Catclaw, Wingar, 78291, Clockwork, Yermak. Corsal. No, they didn't they didn't even get a 15 rune one. Despite their streak of three rune ones. Interesting. I mean I guess it's not exactly the best you'll go for like a feel and chaos light streak to then um try and go for 15 runes. Oh, those are races that people do. Oh, there's lots of fields up there. Wait, that's... Wait, why is there so many field ones on there? I'm confused. Oh, there was Formicid. Right, Formicid. Oh, that makes more sense. F.O. Yep, that is, is in fact form said. I want to check like if Energetic Opto ever got a 15 rune feel it chaos night going. Uh, Yermak did of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, I don't know, I'm not seeing their name there. Oh, Sticky Figures got one. Oh, interesting. No sticky figures would for a lot of the some really hard to get skill titles. And for a while I think they might have been like up near the top or even at the top of the titles, but not anymore. Jeff took that one up with over 600 titles. That's gonna be hard to beat. Oh, hey, did I just take the rune? Excellent. I can now just stop randomly tabbing through here. I've actually got some direction now. Where I'm going, uh, how's that looks reasonably tough? I might cleanse it. Oh, come on, I'm on the wrong side. 
Okay, I gotta go round. Oh, thankfully not too far. Looks like this might be the official way in. Okay, sure. I'll take away leading out, but I don't need it just yet. I don't think I ever found amputation, so I just gotta keep on running until I get to this. There we go. And now I can just take the portal or whatever. Ugh. I just dash for the portal before I get pulled to another region. So, I mean, I didn't change my mutations, but I'm going to reset them. Don't know if that did anything, honestly. I got talents and then, oh, I lost my genetic mutation resistance. Oh, then my talents went away. Okay, I guess I lost my mutation resistance. I'm still fragile. Hmm. There we go. So I got... Cold resist, electric resist, dex, and a pair of small antennae. I mean, the antennae are harmless. So I might as well just go to... Is it just Iron City of Dis left? I think it is. I haven't read all the letters for that one, so I'm just going to go here and then find the entrance in. Maybe I should have brought a heavy weapon with me. I don't know. I mean, this one's alright, but... There's a number of things that are affected by this, but just having that heavy axe might be alright. We're trying to take out iron golems or something, I don't, don't know. Also, my piney's not quite at full, huh? This sucks, it's, yeah, it's the, it's the reason I leave until last. Oh, hey, that's a lot of guys. I think this is just tab boy, I don't think I need to refresh my shield. I think there's a tougher version of that with, uh, like, Iron Giants, but I could be wrong. I think there's the Iron Giants that are throwing around, like, Boulder Beetles one. Um, oh, my weapon's corroded, of course it is. Everything is corroded in here. Would the air spells work well here? Uh, Chain Lightning kills these guys, but Shatter tends to be one of the most effective spells, honestly. Oh. I get a body. Yeah, because there's a lot of hell sentinels and stuff in here. I think it's going alright with the body. Although we both share the damnation damage. Oh, that wake even up when it does its damnation. It probably did. We saw that. Oh, salt trap, was it? Alright, well, I guess that's fine. I've got enough body I can get through here. I might lose the ability to summon angels by the end, but I think apart from that, I'll be fine. Oh, you thought Earth Magic take DC pretty hard? Most of the spells do. Most of them do. But Shatter... Shatter just doesn't seem to care. Like, half the things in here are shatterable, so... Yeah, but a lot of them do, like, double or triple check AC, I think. Or triple check, I think. Um... Oh, and everything has resist electric? Yeah, I mean, I, I know that... Chain Lightning works on the Shrikes. I've used that before, because the Shatter doesn't. Um, did I actually have a magic map here? I think I did. I'm also marked. Um, everything tank. Yeah, like these guys are uh, immune to electricity, right? I was actually immune to all the elements, I think. But you can chatter them. They're, they're, in fact, chatter is one of the quickest ways of taking them out. Probably Maxwell is also decent, but it only targets one of them. But it's also um, a bit more silent <laughs> than trying to shatter one of these dudes. Uh, this is alright, but I think I want to be on this side. I love how you can just like switch which sides you're on with the vice electric charge. It's like, no, nah, I think I'll be on the other side. <laughs> oh, best that tried to use a parade to tear so for help. And it was working for me. I like how modern fish names he sees. Yeah, exactly. Like it's eight magic points per creature. And if there's only the eye golems, it's a very efficient way of taking them out. Oh, 
Authority, wait, only LRD except directly and Sam Blast checks, uh, multiple checks AC. That, huh. Interesting. I thought it was more, but I guess uh, that might be it. And I guess another thing that hits multiple times is also effectively like multiple checking AC, but I don't think that's really the Earth spells. Huh. Oh, I should just magic map out this level. <laughs> I was right next to the staircase, one more step, and I would have seen it anyway. I mean, I don't actually need all my magic map. I might as well just read the last one. Oh, this entrance. Of all the creatures around it. But it's fine. They can't all get to you at once. So it's not too bad. And if need be, you can always cleanse them. But it looks like the Divine Shield might have done quite a good trick. It's protecting me. Yeah, it keeps me protected the initial fight. Then it leaves them blinded for the rest of the fight. So it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, where am I trying to go? I mean, just anywhere. You know, I want to, I want to throw. Let me just throw something at this dude. I guess LRD also technically kind of works on the Iron Giants, because you can... If you target it directly, it doesn't check their AC, right? So... I don't know how effective it is. Oh, my magic's reached 20. But my fighting skills are doing a lot better. I maxed out pull up shields, throwing... I haven't maxed out fighting yet. That one's probably pretty hard to max out. In fact, long blades are... Oh, range is the nice to max out, and then probably long blades. Oh, wait, look at that evocation. If I use my evocables, they'll be like super powered, right? Like how long is that gravitabri gonna constrict people for? Also the mirror will probably last forever. <laughs> I should maybe mirror up the boss, that's probably a good idea. But I maybe should've been using my evocables more often because they'll probably recharge super quickly with those sort of Levels of consumables, not consumables, evocations. Stealth on the left of the skill menu. Uh, yeah, apparently it is. Is that different than the, the folk of crawl that you play? Where was self put there? I think it's been there for a while, but I'm not actually 100% sure off the top of my head how long it's been there. I mean, it's definitely been there for a while. It wasn't like this version or something that changed it. Uh, I hate Seven of Hell. I might just put on a Divine Shield. Um, oh, it's one of these guys as well. I might taste up. I got like lots of that. Like actually lots. Did I get? I lost my haste. Ah. Good old Quicksilver Dragons. Lost everything. I'm gonna put on Divine Shield. I've still got health. Put on another Divine Shield. Because again, it's the more guys that just do like ranged and melee attacks so they can deflect. Because their things are blockable by a shield. Oh, LRDing Iron Golems directly is better than some things, but not really ideal. I guess it just doesn't quite do enough damage. It's also kind of noisy, right? It's a low-level spell, well, fifth level, whatever, so... You need the, you kind of need the higher-level version of LRD the Shatter. It was on the right for years? Has been in every vanilla version you've played? Yeah, huh. Try to remember when it got switched, but I, I just don't know. <laughs> Definitely wasn't this version or the version previous, but some things got switched around with the um, shape shifting skill was added. It, oh, wait. 
Was it with the shape-shifting added that stealth was moved? No, it was the throwing that was moved, right? And to the other... Then throwing your speed down? How was it throwing? I know something got moved to make room for the shape-shifting. It might have been throwing that got moved in with the other weapon skills. But I feel like that used to be all like the evocations and invocations. I don't know. <laughs> Things sometimes get moved around. Oh, mind you, it's on the left and Lindley crawl, so... Huh, it's back to its original state. Wow. I mean, I don't really know... Oh, that's not working. I don't really know what makes most sense. Damnation is a problem. I might just haste up. Because the other things get reflected by the Divine Shield. I don't think I could quite take this haste into the boss fight, but oh well. Let's go into this boss fight. Where's the boss? <laughs> That's not the boss. Hey, there we go. There's the boss. So I'm gonna grab a tambourine these dudes. Um... Then I'm gonna mirror up this dude, the boss dude. Oh, he's damnation himself. That's excellent. That's what I like to see. I gotta spider him up. There we go. Gotta be constricted. That's also what I like to see. Oh, how did I get a. Oh, Hell Central Sub by my mirror, I see. I just think that doesn't look like a spider to me. And now he's dead. I mean, either is a steel bar beetle, but it's kind of something that you get from the spider's nest. Oh, your guess is ranged combat eating three skills based base on the left. Oh, yeah, true, right, because there used to be, like, slings throwing, not throwing, slings, bows, and crossbows, right? I kind of like how they both all got moved into one, because it makes a kind of nicer progression with the ranged weapons. Uh, I got the rune, right? Double checking. Got all the runes, so I can just go to Zot. I haven't finished Zot 5. Why are there scrolls on the ground that I haven't picked up? Oh, because my auto explore was, like, wrong for a while, I guess. <laughs> oh, you guess the logic is the defense, is the, the stealth of the defense? I mean, it is put in there with, like, the armor, dodging, and shield, so it kind of is in there with all the defenses. I mean, I guess... Not being seen as more of a defense than an attack. Uh, I mean, I guess it's semi appropriate. But I had to go somewhere, right? Uh, back these guys. Oh, shit, I don't know if I should back these guys up too much. I just have a... No, I can't have a buddy. Okay. Well, that uh, that answers that. I'll haste up. How do I fire this? It's not that good right now. Maybe I should have... Had a bit more of that. I think if I tried it everyone, I might as well do a bit of cleansing. Oh wow, look how small my shining aura is. <laughs> I mean, it's still enough for my, it covers my pole arms, but it doesn't cover a lot more than that. I think the logic is more than uh, this space, which is hard to cover. But yeah, like, uh, I mean, with this many, you can kind of extend it downwards, but yeah, there isn't a lot of space. And I guess on smaller screens too, it might make a difference. How mutated I get? Apparently not mutated, so I don't understand that. <laughs> Maybe they stripped something that wasn't important, but... Uh, where is my javelins? Your whole life is just random ball mutations, Stanley Wick. 
Well, those characters got really lucky and they found uh, 13 remaining portions of mutation. That's after using them. Um, like the ones that I use in Pandemonium and stuff. So I just kind of have... It's mainly not that I... Actually, that is kind of huge amounts that I got. It's both that I got huge amounts and that I used small amounts this time around. Because I got really lucky on the mutation resetting that didn't take much. I don't have a plantation, I can't just steal the orb. Uh, let's stand up here and try and stop these guys setting on the, oh, the alarm trap. Um, Spurs is going to get set off. I don't think there's much you can do about that. Sure. Guess I might as well make some noise. Uh, actually haste off and then then off that alarm trap and just hide round. Oh, come on. I had a perfect corner there. I was trying to hide round, but I think I just take this teleport trap. I mean, it's still marked, but like it takes me away from that fiend. Might as well use up the last of my piety with these glanding flames. I mean, there's uh, not many creatures left on this level, so I might as well get rid of them. Alright, what have we got here? We've got a hand cannon of freezing. It nine dang slow. And not right for this character. Manual of ice magic or spirit gun. Oh, whatever. I'll take the manual. <laughs> might as well be trading as many things as possible, right? Not like a, it can, anything can mess with my title anymore, so I can just get whatever I want. Oh, TSO gives no protection except uh, in as much as they can help you kill. Yeah, I mean, like, bring out angels, which I can't do anymore, can help protect you. Cleansing things while they're behind another enemy can help protect you, but there really isn't a lot too special there. I might as well just grab this and get out of here. Uh... Oh, right, of course the auto travel's not going to work because there is a trap here. Hey, Glorious Vlog. Don't mind me. I'm just taking... This permanent teleport trap out of here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to settle the Zot trap, but yeah, well. What? Did I not type yes? <laughs> I can just get rid of some of this contamination. Oh, the cancellation didn't do the trick. I'll keep one more remaining. I feel weaker. That's whatever. Feel clumsy. Oh, I feel frail. I mean, does it really matter? Probably. I might reset these. Uh, don't regen. What else can I get? Still, oh, I'm even more frail am I? Did I just make that worse? <laughs> I sure did, but I still got 10 points of mutation. I should be able to fix this up. It's down to one level again. Uh, low magic capacity is fine. Spellcasting's harder is fine. Alright, that looks good to me. Let's go. Uh. Oh, this is pandemonium law. What to do? Paralyze the earth, then summon demons, bombard. I think it's fine. That was another one, but I don't need to find this one. I can just leave. Oh, really? Apparently, I can't leave via that staircase. I guess I could have read a teleport or whatever, but this guy's not going to be too bad. I can just kill it. Of course, those guys are eating into my divide shield uh, usage, but that's fine. He was seeing that staircase and be like, hey, just go off. I mean, I guess I could have used a teleport, but I'm going to find the actual way out. Where's the actual way out of depths? 
The auto explorer's trying to go down this way, so I gotta preserve us down here somewhere. Is that an up staircase? It is. Good. I should also remember that I didn't actually get through a lot of my digging because I didn't have flight in the tails where it mattered. So I didn't really end up using it. I mean, I did dig a little bit of Corsitis, but not much at all. Oh, that fog was that effective. I guess it pulled the guy in. Anyway, I'm at the exit. I've got the title I want. I might as well just get out of here. Yeah, let's do it. Goodbye, Dungeon. Well, that was a good game. No, and I had my holy Trishilla, which was fun. I could have used a Trishilla for a while. Um, I had quite a few potions left. I think I still had haste as well, like three haste. Seven blink. Yeah, I had stuff. That was a fun game. And that should give me great mug, if I'm correct.